going uncut to your jag. You know how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it all the way live. Broadcasting live from Hutchinson, Kansas. Well, I'm sitting here with a linguist. I had a no idea. <laughs> I love I didn't that. know you were a but I didn't know that you were a wordsmith. <laughs> Call Jiggy right now. 267 22 Jiggy. Hey Jiggy, what's happening, man? You must be that uh, David Bowie song. Jiggy Play Guitar. Jeff. It's a great name, man. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Presenting. I'm, I'm Mike Massey, and uh, you know you can catch me on Jiggy Jag TV and uh, see a few of my trick shots there. Thank you very much. Jiggy Jaguar. I never knew what freedom was until I saw you lose yours. It's like Wild Kingdom around here. Welcome to the world famous Cheeky Jaguar radio program. Coming to you live from the KJAG Radio Studios in downtown Hutchinson, Kansas. We're live 2 to 5 Central, 3 to 6 Eastern, 12 to 3 Pacific, and 24 7 at JiggyJaguar.com. Our podcast is available at iHeartRadio. Hey, you can see me. We're also available on JiggyJaguar.com, Ustream, YouTube, all those places. Podcast is available on iHeartRadio. And our telephone number is 267 22 J I G G Y. That's 267 22 J I G G Y. And the Jiggy Jaguar Radio Broadcast is brought to you by our good friends. That's right. We've got some, we've got some really good marketing partners. And uh, I don't see the pitch anywhere. Yay for rebooting computers! Yay and stuff! You think you have everything done <laughs> when you get on the air. You think, oh, here it is. We're back in the saddle. And I'm going to jump on the air and we're going to be good to go. And then nothing. Arr, curses! Curses foiled again! This is why I'm not on in Philadelphia. I'm not as professional as the beer man who does an entire hour and a half long show with no content. Are you interested in starting a home-based business? Now, if I could show you how to generate 2500 bucks every week from home... By simply advertising a phone number without ever having to sell, convince, or explain anything to anyone. Plus, receive professional team leaders to call and close all your prospects for you. Would it be worth three minutes of your time? Our system is 100% guaranteed to earn you income or will pay you $1,000 in cash. Call 760-263-6008 right now for our $2,500 per week system. That's 760 Six zero zero eight, and tell them you heard about it here on the world famous Jiggy Jaguar radio broadcast. Now, uh, where were we? That's that. That's the topic of this segment. Where the hell were we? We've been off the air from live programming since Friday at three twenty Central Standard Time. We had an internet outage. Our modem is from the good friends at Cox. Cox Communications, our friend in the digital age. The modem blew out. Now, the modem blew out because we... Everybody has heard of the professor, Steve Levesey, or they know of Steve. Well, the professor loves online gaming so much that he's destroyed three modems... Two routers. He loves sending massive amounts of data. Well, combined with us broadcasting the show, plus here in KJAG Radio Studios, we have KJAGRadio.com, EDM Music Hub, Rock Music Hub, Hip Hop Music Hub, Jiggy Jag 24 7, WKRP.FM, and KJAGRadio.com. Plus, we might have two more stations we're adding to the mix. It's a lot for a router to handle and a modem to handle without having to deal with uh, war games all day, Command and Conquer and all that shenanigans. So it blew out. So we've been down 
Now, we got back up and running on Monday. But I had to get everything back up and running. <laughs> all the stations and all the crap. So we weren't on the air Monday. We weren't on the air Tuesday. Wednesday, we weren't on there either. Finally got things back up and running for today. You're probably hearing this. This is our Thursday edition of the world-famous Cheeky Jaguar Radio Program. Shannon Rose, the Hollywood Rose Report. Scott Smith will be along a little bit later. And we'll talk to Jane Velez Mitchell. I taped that interview a couple days ago. And Heather Wagonhalls is our big guest on the program at the bottom of the hour. The bottom of uh, the fourth, or at the, or at the top, the mid of the third hour. We won't do a fourth hour today uh, for our friends at KKRP. Because we have to attend a community function this evening that the Hutchinson Community Foundation is putting on. And I figure as the uh, executive director of Concerts for a Cause, I kind of have to be there for it. <laughs> so, this hour we broadcast today on the Starcom Radio Network. So thanks to all them for tuning in today. That's what happened on Friday. Now, Monday... We were off the air. We were trying to get a brand new website up and running, which we do. Well, we don't have a brand new website, but kjagradio.com has a brand new website. If you go over to kjagradio.com, you will see our new home base of activities. You'll be able to listen to the stations. You'll be able to go check out the Mike Online magazine. You'll also be able to get a link to this show. Uh, our new acquisitions are over there. We have Cypher Kings, which is going to be our brand new reality-based hip-hop television show. Concerts for a Cause, of course, is also over there. WKRP.FM, Hip Hop Music Hub, Rock Music Hub, Wichita Nightlife, and Wichita Night Out, as well as KJAG EDM Hub. Plus, we have links to the Idea Magazine, Homegrown Half Hour, The Mic, The Nightlife Show with Terrence Hayes. All for your approval and perusal at kjagradio.com. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all those places. Join us on the Facebook. We have currently a thousand likes over on the Facebook. So go say hello to us. Go say hello to us. Fantastic stuff, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children, children of all ages. Now, of course, it's funny because on Sunday, <laughs> in the middle of that show, we go down. We were on live remote, and we went down in the middle of that show. <laughs> Thank God it was towards the end of the show. But we went down there, too, but I'll talk about the remote a little bit later on in the program. When we get back, in fact, we'll do this. When we come back, we'll talk about the remote uh, from the Sunday show. It was a fantastic little voyage. We made a couple new contacts, a couple new little friends. We will talk about that coming up here on the world-famous Jiggy Jaguar Radio Broadcast back in a few moments. Looking to start your own successful online business on 100% hands-off autopilot for only $9? That's right. For a one-time payment of only $9, you can get paid up to $600,000. Thousands of Americans have joined, and they are making tens of thousands and even hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they all started with just $9. Absolutely no experience is necessary. You are paid immediately and instantly. Join thousands of others and make up to $600,000. Sign up right now at www.goo.gl forward slash S as in Sam, W capital F as in Fred, 1AQ. Again, that's www.goo.gl 
forward slash S as in Sam, W capital F as in Fred, 1AQ. We all love a great deal, especially when we get quality items at a great price. I want to tell you about an eBay store that has some of the best deals I've ever seen, and you got to check it out. MyFloridaShop.com MyFloridaShop.com offers great deals on clothes for men and women, gift items, jewelry, and more. With brands like Chico's, Old Navy, Dockers, Land's Inn, Izon, only to name a few. You'll save 10% on the quality items at MyFloridaShop.com and always free shipping. MyFloridaShop.com just added plus size clothing. New items are added every month. Right now there's a big sale going on at MyFloridaShop.com to make room for new inventory. Visit right now MyFloridaShop.com Are you out of work? Are you looking to make a lot of money on the internet from the comfort of your home? I have consistently made over $30,000 every month for the past 8 years. It's fun, it's easy, and beginners are desperately needed right now. Sign up today at www.goo.gl forward slash capital W, capital N, zero, lowercase x, lowercase u, the number nine. And potentially make over $30,000 a month, just like I did. Again, the website address is www.goo.gl forward slash capital W, capital N, zero, lowercase x, lowercase u, the number nine. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Great Indiegogo campaign. John Rose Publishing Marketing Campaign. The campaign started on July 18th and will close on September 16th at midnight Pacific. Flexible funding available. You can donate as little as $5. For those that contribute $5 or more to this campaign, you're going to receive the e-books of your choice, equal to or better than the value of your contribution. John Rose Publishing, a brand new e-commerce store. Innovative e-books for your heart, health, education, and enjoyment. In today's modern technology, you can absolutely do everything online. You can shop, you can work, or you can even read different kinds of books just by using your cell phone or your tablet. Those books that you can download are called e-books. These books are very useful and handy. You can definitely read them anytime you want without carrying the actual thick pages. It is indeed the high-tech and portable version of large books. You just need to look for a very reliable source where you can download numerous kinds of e-books to enjoy its amazing advantages. John Rose Publishing is a new e-commerce store that offers different kinds of e-books, from recreational and health-related to self-help and many more. Two of the titles that they feature currently are Works Efficient. That's right, The Gatekeeper by C. Elise and Winter Soon by David Michael Martin. Check it out today. Amazing stuff. They've got amazing things going on over there. John Rose Publishing Marketing Campaign is available on Indiegogo.com. That's www.indiegogo.com. Search John Rose Publishing. It's going to be amazing stuff. We'll spell it for you. I-N-D-I-E-G-O-G-O.com. Search John Rose Publishing, and that's J-O-N-R-O-S-E Publishing. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. For this fabulous Friday, let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Loreen Giordano, from Inspired to Health, wants to bring awareness to women and men about the Robin Danielson Act of 2014. There is a petition before Congress to get femcare companies to disclose what they are using to create tampons, pads, synthetic fibers, unknown perfumes, dioxin, which is linked to cancer. There's no transparency when there should be considering these products are regularly used near a ladies' baby-making slash female hormone-making center. Women, especially young women, are not fully aware of the risks of tampon use or symptoms of toxic shock syndrome. This bill will help shine a light on how these important products are produced. Congresswoman Carolyn Mahoney has been trying for 20 years to get something passed, but the bill usually gets stalled or rejected. The Robin Danielson Act needs your help. Please call your congressman, congresswoman, and take a minute to sign the petition and share with your friends. Here's the petition to change.org. Check it out today. It's change.org, the Robin Danielson Act. Search for it over there. 
and uh, it's a it's a it's a great great act. It's got a lot of different things. It's helping the women out there. Inspired to Health website is www.inspiredtohealth.net. Check out facebook.com slash inspired to health and also they're on Twitter, inspire the number two health. Remember, change.org, that's C H A N G E dot O R G, and search the Robin Danielson Act and tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia World. 24 7, 365. The number two internet radio program according to TalkStreamLive.com. This is the Jiggy Jaguar Radio Show. Well, as we were talking in the last segment, we were chatting about the fact that we that we we went down on Friday. We had a gigantic issue. Uh, we couldn't do the radio show from the studio, which was I was thinking, oh, what are we going to do on Sunday? And then it hit me. I'm like, ah, we're going to be on remote. This is perfect. We'll be on remote from Wichita, Kansas. We had a really good show. We broadcasted from the Crow's Nest, which is 4,000 South Broadway in Wichita, Kansas. Fantastic day. Myself, cousin Chris from Jiggy Jag TV, my cousin Tylen. We all went to the show, had a good time. They mooched and got some free food out of the crow's nest. <laughs> I got free drinks out of the crow's nest. Mike Gooseby, a.k.a. Mike Game, was in the building. Israel, formerly of the Sunday radio program. Got to talk to, got to, talk to Lawyer Jones for the first time. Got to chat with Cypher about the Cypher Kings and some of the different things that the Crow's Nester's doing. To chat with my buddy Daniel Hook. Had a good day. We had a fantastic first hour. We got to talk to Jennifer Wynn of, uh, we all know Jennifer Wynn. She, she ran unsuccessfully for the governor nomination for the state of Kansas against the current incumbent Mr. Sam Brownback. Well, <laughs> interesting interview. Had a good time. Do a live remote, they say. It'll be fun. I'm checking to see. I'm, I'm assuming that it, that it got saved. Hopefully it got saved. If it didn't. Oh, it didn't. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, I hope somebody on the Radio Xenu end of things is recording the show. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> is there any other spots? Did it get recorded anywhere? Did this show get recorded? I thought I was running the the broadcaster. I thought it was running the, 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 the Ustream broadcaster at the time. I was. Well, apparently it didn't get saved. Unless it got saved here. 917. No. It did not get saved. Crikey! So that interview is just gone. So if you heard it live, awesome. If you didn't, well, I tell you personally, our our live remotes, the the sound for the live remotes really suck. So in a way, I'm kind of glad that show didn't get saved. <laughs> oh, crikey! Really? It didn't get saved. We don't have a copy of it. It's done. It's out of there. Outski. Gone. We went ahead and did our remote, and at the 3 o'clock hour... Why is it always happening at the 3 o'clock hour? <laughs> 3 o'clock hour, it went down. Went down like a light. Bang. 
over. So now we have to move on. We had a really good interview, Jennifer Wynn, and some good interviews, Lawyer Jones. Was it 45? 45, I think, is when it went down. 45 minutes after the second hour it went down. We're supposed to be on the air till 5? We're on the air till 5. Well, it didn't happen. So, had had an interesting day. It's a lot. I don't know what happened. They cut the power or something happened. I think maybe somebody on the stage behind me turned something off. We had the Iron Octomoms there. We did all sorts of different things. So. But that's that. It went boom. Good night, everybody. See ya. No more show. So we moved on, and then Monday, we got everything back up and running here. We didn't officially put stations or anything on the air until later. What the heck is all that garbage that I was supposed to read? Did Don get me those pictures? Like a Casey Kasem reference. I want those pictures. Did Don get me those pictures? (laughs) What happened to those dog pictures I was supposed to see? Why does he sound like Regis? Why does my impression of Casey Kasem (laughs) sound like Regis? That's not how that's supposed to sound. Why does my impression of Regis Philbin... Or no, it's an impression of Casey Kasem that sounds like Regis, I think. What? I don't know how these things work. Honestly, I don't know how these things work, apparently. There it is, live reads. That's the ticket. That's my deal. There they are. Well, it's kind of late to be thanking a sponsor now. We're going to go to a break, you idiot. But, uh... But that's what happened Sunday to the Sunday Live Remote for the Sunday Radio Show. We had a bunch of problems there, too. But we're back. We're going. We're doing the show today. No problem so far. 24 minutes after the hour. Going to be talking to Scott Smith at the bottom of this hour. When we come back, we're going to talk about a story that should scare the hell out of every single radio guy in the business. Should scare the hell out of all of you. Sean Ballantyne. I'm going to tell you that name. He is on this show. Not not day, but at some stage of the game. Sean Ballantyne will be on this radio show. Talking about... A... Huge... Situation... That took place for him. We're going to play it. LA Talk Radio has the story. We'll be back here in a few moments. Sean Valentine. If this story don't scare the hell out of you, I don't know what will. And I got a little bit of a personal connection to this, so we'll talk about that when we come back. Looking to start your own successful online business on 100% hands-off autopilot for only $9? That's right. For a one-time payment of only $9, you can get paid up to $600,000. Thousands of Americans have joined, and they are making tens of thousands and even hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they all started with just $9. Absolutely no experience is necessary. You are paid immediately and instantly. Join thousands of others and make up to $600,000. Sign up right now at www.goo.gl forward slash 
S as in Sam, W, capital F as in Fred, 1AQ. Again, that's www.goo.gl forward slash S as in Sam, W, capital F as in Fred, 1AQ. Are you out of work? Are you looking to make a lot of money on the Internet from the comfort of your home? I have consistently made over $30,000 every month for the past eight years. It's fun, it's easy, and beginners are desperately needed right now. Sign up today at www.goo.gl forward slash capital W, capital N, zero, lowercase x, lowercase u, the number nine and potentially make over $30,000 a month, just like I did. Again, the website address is www.goo.gl forward slash capital W, capital N, zero, lowercase x, lowercase u, the number nine. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Great Indiegogo campaign, John Rose Publishing Marketing Campaign. The campaign started on July 18th and will close on September 16th at midnight Pacific. Flexible funding available. You can donate as little as $5. For those that contribute $5 or more to this campaign, you're going to receive the e-books of your choice, equal to or better than the value of your contribution. John Rose Publishing, a brand new e-commerce store. Innovative e-books for your heart, health, education, and enjoyment. In today's modern technology, you can absolutely do everything online. You can shop, you can work, or you can even read different kinds of books just by using your cell phone or your tablet. Those books that you can download are called e-books. These books are very useful and handy. You can definitely read them anytime you want without carrying the actual thick pages. It is indeed the high-tech and portable version of large books. You just need to look for a very reliable source where you can download numerous kinds of e-books to enjoy its amazing advantages. John Rose Publishing is a new e-commerce store that offers different kinds of e-books, from recreational and health-related to self-help and many more. Two of the titles that they feature currently are Works Efficient. That That's right, The Gatekeeper by C. Elise and Winter Soon by David Michael Martin. Check it out today. Amazing stuff. They've got amazing things going on over there. John Rose Publishing Marketing Campaign is available on Indiegogo.com. That's www.indiegogo.com. Search John Rose Publishing. It's going to be amazing stuff. We'll spell it for you. I-N-D-I-E-G-O-G-O.com. Search John Rose Publishing. And that's J-O-N-R-O-S-E Publishing. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. For this fabulous Friday, let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Lorene Giordano. From Inspired to Health, wants to bring awareness to women and men about the Robin Danielson Act of 2014. There is a petition before Congress to get femcare companies to disclose what they are using to create tampons, pads, synthetic fibers, unknown perfumes, dioxin, which is linked to cancer. There's no transparency when there should be considering these products are regularly used near a ladies' baby-making slash female hormone-making center. Women, especially young women, are not fully aware of the risks of tampon use or symptoms of toxic shock syndrome. This bill will help shine a light on how these important products are produced. Congresswoman Carolyn Mahoney has been trying for 20 years to get something passed, but the bill usually gets stalled or rejected. The Robin Danielson Act needs your help. Please call your congressman, congresswoman, and take a minute to sign the petition and share with your friends. Here's the petition to change.org. Check it out today. It's change.org, the Robin Danielson Act. Search for it over there. And uh, it's a it's a it's a great great act. It's got a lot of different things. It's helping the women out there. Inspired to Health website is www.inspiredtohealth.net. Check out facebook.com slash inspired to health, and also they're on Twitter. Inspire the number two health. Remember change.org. That's c h a n g e dot o r g, and search the Robin Danielson Act. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia World. 
We all love a great deal, especially when we get quality items at a great price. I want to tell you about an eBay store that has some of the best deals I've ever seen, and you got to check it out. MyFloridaShop.com. MyFloridaShop.com offers great deals on clothes for men and women, gift items, jewelry, and more. With brands like Chico's, Old Navy, Dockers, Lands, Inn, Izon, only to name a few. You'll save 10% on the quality items at MyFloridaShop.com and always free shipping. MyFloridaShop.com just added plus size clothing. New items are added every month. Right now there's a big sale going on at MyFloridaShop.com to make room for new inventory. Visit right now MyFloridaShop.com. The Jiggy Jaguar radio program continues. Welcome back to the program, coast to coast to border to border, all over the Starcom Radio Network. Getting ready to sneeze here. Maybe not. I guess I'm not going to sneeze. That's good. Look at that. Somebody's looking out for me somewhere. <laughs> I couldn't have sneezed when we went off the air. No, can't do that. I'm going to have the sniffles here because I'm trying to sneeze and it's not going to... It's not going to go anywhere. Now, the big news. Well... There was some big news, but uh, I'm setting up our last segment to the old internets here. Let's talk about one of our great marketing clients over at Transmedia Worldwide. A rare shining jewel of a book, Silence and Darkness, by Daniel H. Lance, contains treasures for everyone. From dashing nights and damsels in distress to macabre darkness, extraordinary romance and classic Shakespearean comedy. The author cleverly takes the reader on a dangerous and emotionally strained journey, reveling in the gothic inspiration from a wide variety of authors, including Stephen King, Edgar Allan Poe, and Shakespeare. Daniel H. Lance carefully crafted a superb dark collection of poetry that is available in either Kindle or paperback formats. From Amazon or Barnes & Noble, check out his Facebook page for further details, including the audio book release date. Daniel H. Lance. And tell him you heard about it here. On the world famous Cheeky Check Why Your Radio Program. We're going to be talking to Mr. Man, Mr. Scott Smith, at the bottom of the hour here. He's going to be talking about, we're going to pick up where we left off uh, last week. Talking about the generals, talking about some different folks in, uh, in the military and how they, uh, I guess, sort of uh, affect our lives and shape them. We'll also be talking to Mr. Shannon Rose from the Hollywood Rose Report as well today. Had our remote on Sunday. We got back on Monday. And I wanted to put this show together. I wanted to get right back on the air. Wanted to pick up where we left off. Go, 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 Power Rangers. Well, that didn't happen. I realized that we have a network... A secure, an unsecured network we have to deal with. Oh, yay. So we waited till we could get a new, and, and like an idiot, I couldn't get customer support to get on the line with me, and I couldn't get into this thing. And we had all sorts of issues and all sorts of craziness and shenanigans. I finally got it figured out, though. Finally, I didn't have the right computer plugged into the uh, the router. You gotta have the right computer plugged into the router, kids, and I didn't. So, like an idiot, I sat here the whole time going, "How come I can't get the computer plugged into this router?" <laughs> Don't mind me; I'm just an idiot. <laughs> so. <laughs> I went out and I bought a new router. We put that router into use. Then I 
kept trying to get it to go. And I'm like, I can't get in there. I can't get in there. Well, finally, I figured out I had the wrong computer plugged in. So I had the wrong computer plugged into this router the entire freaking time. So <laughs> we had that issue. But there was a story. L.A. Talk Radio. Sean Valentine. Now, Sean Valentine is a radio DJ from Los Angeles. He uh, (laughs) has an interesting story. We're going to be talking to him in the next couple weeks about this story. He was one of these uh, night jocks, one of these, uh, you know, talk radio guys from, you know, way, way back in the day. You know, coming up in the ranks with, you know, guys like Kid Chris and, and, and folks like that. But uh, apparently, Sean Valentine... Uh, Well, he's got a hell of a story. He's got a hell of a story. And this story is... Wow. That's all it is. It's it's one of those things where you sit back and you go, Really? A little bit of the story comes from AllAccess.com. Sean Valentine's Nightmare in Dubai. Don Barrett's LARadio.com is a harrowing story about former Los Angeles personality Sean Valentine, who has quote-unquote lived a nightmare for the past year. He was jailed in Dubai and held captive. Valentine explained to Barrett in June of 2011 he saw an ad for an opening in radio in Dubai, which, by the way, I saw and applied for that very same opening. <laughs> After about one minute of sending his resume and demo, he received a call asking whether he could meet with members of the Arab Media Group in Hollywood. He had a short interview and was asked to move to Dubai to start up the world's first Farsi hit music station. Salary and benefits were very good, so he packed up and moved. Dubai looks quite impressive with its tall buildings, everything big and over the top, so it's easy for all its appearance in this modern city. But he learned underneath it all it can be a very dangerous place. Valentine writes, he was fired from the station after two years and ran into trouble trying to find another job, launching an internet radio station. The real nightmare began. There was a knock at his door. It was Dubai's secret police, the CID, telling me to go with them. He asked why, but he was physically nudged and told they would explain later. He was taken to the police station and told that... He was running an illegal radio station. He tried explaining, but they would not listen. They brought me back to my house, went in, confiscated all my equipment, took me back to the police station. I'll never forget the look on my wife's face while this was going on. My kids were in their rooms. I forced a smile and told her not to worry. But little did I know that my life was about to turn upside down, that I was to be held in Dubai indefinitely. He was kept at the police station until next morning. All along, he was told that he could leave his passport as collateral. Go home and resolve this matter in court. At 6 a.m. the next day, he was informed that he was headed to jail. Mind you, all this for playing music on the internet. A warm rush through his body. He tried asking questions, but there were no answers. And you can read the entire story over at LARadio.com. We're going to have Sean Valentine on this program here in the next couple weeks. And uh, we're also going to have him on, I think, at one point with IQ Al-Rizuli and uh, chat with him about this as well. But that's a harrowing story, and we're going to talk to Sean Valentine here in the next couple of weeks. We're going to take a uh, quick time out here. Scott Smith is on the way. Thanks for listening to us here on the world-famous Cheeky Jaguar program. Back in a few moments.
you looking to start your own successful online business on 100% hands-off autopilot for only $9? That's right. For a one-time payment of only $9, you can get paid up to $600,000. Thousands of Americans have joined, and they are making tens of thousands and even hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they all started with just $9. Absolutely no experience is necessary. You are paid immediately and instantly. Join thousands of others and make up to $600,000. Sign up right now at www.goo.gl forward slash S as in Sam, W capital F as in Fred, 1AQ. Again, that's www.goo.gl forward slash S as in Sam, W capital F as in Fred, 1AQ. Are you out of work? Are you looking to make a lot of money on the Internet from the comfort of your home? I have consistently made over $30,000 every month for the past eight years. It's fun, it's easy, and beginners are desperately needed right now. Sign up today at www.goo.gl forward slash capital W, capital N, zero, lowercase x, lowercase u, the number nine and potentially make over $30,000 a month, just like I did. Again, the website address is www.goo.gl forward slash capital W, capital N, zero, lowercase x, lowercase u, the number nine. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Great Indiegogo campaign, John Rose Publishing Marketing Campaign. The campaign started on July 18th and will close on September 16th at midnight Pacific. Flexible funding available. You can donate as little as $5. For those that contribute $5 or more to this campaign, you're going to receive the e-books of your choice, equal to or better than the value of your contribution. John Rose Publishing, a brand new e-commerce store. Innovative e-books for your heart, health, education, and enjoyment. In today's modern technology, you can absolutely do everything online. You can shop, you can work, or you can even read different kinds of books just by using your cell phone or your tablet. Those books that you can download are called e-books. These books are very useful and handy. You can definitely read them anytime you want without carrying the actual thick pages. It is indeed the high-tech and portable version of large books. You just need to look for a very reliable source where you can download numerous kinds of e-books to enjoy its amazing advantages. John Rose Publishing is a new e-commerce store that offers different kinds of e-books, from recreational and health-related to self-help and many more. Two of the titles that they feature currently are Works Efficient. That that's right, The Gatekeeper by C. Elise and Winter Soon by David Michael Martin. Check it out today. Amazing stuff. They've got amazing things going on over there. John Rose Publishing Marketing Campaign is available on Indiegogo.com. That's www.indiegogo.com. Search John Rose Publishing. It's going to be amazing stuff. We'll spell it for you. I N D I E G O G O dot com. Search John Rose Publishing, and that's J O N R O S E Publishing. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide for this fabulous Friday. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Lorene Giordano. From Inspired to Health, wants to bring awareness to women and men about the Robin Danielson Act of 2014. There is a petition before Congress to get femcare companies to disclose what they are using to create tampons, pads, synthetic fibers, unknown perfumes, dioxin, which is linked to cancer. There's no transparency when there should be considering these products are regularly used near a lady's baby-making slash female hormone-making center. Women, especially young women, are not fully aware of the risks of tampon use or symptoms of toxic shock syndrome. This bill will help shine a light on how these important products are produced. Congresswoman Carolyn Mahoney has been trying for 20 years to get something passed, but the bill usually gets stalled or rejected. The Robin Danielson Act needs your help. Please call your congressman, congresswoman, and take a minute to sign the petition and share with your friends. Here's the petition to change.org. Check it out today. It's change.org, the Robin Danielson Act. Search for it over there. 
and uh, it's a it's a it's a great great act. It's got a lot of different things, and it's helping the women out there. Inspired to Health website is www.inspiredtohealth.net. Check out facebook.com slash inspired to health and also they're on Twitter, inspire the number two health. Remember, change.org, that's C H A N G E dot O R G, and search the Robin Danielson Act and tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia World. We all love a great deal, especially when we get quality items at a great price. I want to tell you about an eBay store that has some of the best deals I've ever seen, and you got to check it out. MyFloridaShop.com MyFloridaShop.com offers great deals on clothes for men and women, gift items, jewelry, and more. With brands like Chico's, Old Navy, Dockers, Land's Inn, Izon, only to name a few. You'll save 10% on the quality items at MyFloridaShop.com and always free shipping. MyFloridaShop.com just added plus size clothing. New items are added every month. Right now there's a big sale going on at MyFloridaShop.com to make room for new inventory. Visit right now MyFloridaShop.com The Jiggy Jaguar Radio Program every afternoon on the network coast to coast and border to border. Keep up with Jiggy online at JiggyJaguar.com. Welcome back to the program. Scott Smith is going to join us here in a few moments. If you want to get a hold of us on Facebook, you can do so at Facebook.com slash the Jiggy Jaguar. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners before we get into our uh, uh, regular correspondent for today, retired model and fitness personality and former host of the Trainer Joe Show, ventures out of the gym box and into the world of the not-so-typical Vegas girl. Dating problems, world issues, the Vegas nightlife, hot and sexy guests. Tommy O says, sexy but idiosyncratic. Not your typical Vegas girl with a mic. Nightlife guru Jeremy Womack states, Josephine D's eclectic style will have you tuning in every week just to see what she'll say next. She has a weekly internet radio talk show. It's available, The Josephine D Show, Thursdays, 5 p.m. Pacific, at www.alltalkradio.net. Scott Smith with us today. And uh, I was talking before we went to break about the fact that we're going to be covering a couple of these generals today. Give me your thoughts on this, my friend. Yeah, um, the, thanks, James. Um, when I put together the book, Extraordinary People, uh, it's it's as it says it's real life lessons on what it takes to uh, achieve success. So there's really a twofold point in the people that I brought into the book. One was I was looking for people that maybe we know the name of, like Douglas MacArthur, and we discussed him last time, but who are misunderstood. So I kind of took a revisionist approach to that. I think people will be surprised. And then last time we also covered. Little Turtle, nobody's ever heard of him, but he was the greatest war chief among Native Americans. So I hope that when people read the book and they can look at a sample chapter at ExtraordinaryPeopleBook.com, they're going to not just learn lessons about inspiring role models so they can apply those lessons to their own careers, but they're going to kind of broaden their horizons, just like I do when I wrote these and when I write my column for Investors Business Daily, I don't know much more about these people than the average person. And so I'm always amazed that everybody I write about is just a giant. It keeps us humble. And when you go back into history, um, you kind of put your own problems in perspective when you see what these guys face. So I'm a little bit of a military nut four chapters on generals out of 21, and uh, the two we could get into a little bit today would be General George Thomas first of the Civil War. Now, everybody who's a Civil War buff thinks they know all the great generals. How could we not? I mean, this is like the most obsessed over subject there is in the book section, online. You know, there's a huge number of people who are just take a continuing interest on Lincoln. The number of books published on him, the number of biographies is just astounding, and I've had to read a bunch of them, and I'm writing about him again in February. So all of that kind of lays the groundwork for what I'd like to say here. Um, let me give you some highlights on George Thomas. 
that might catch your attention. Number one, people who served with him, including the Navy Secretary Gideon Wells and the Assistant Secretary of War Charles Dana, and future President James Garfield, who was one of the generals who served under him, and others, everybody said he was the greatest general in the Civil War, better than Lee, better than Grant, for example. Now, that kind of gets your attention, but it goes further than that. Uh, a couple of these guys, like Joseph Hooker and James Steedman, who were both generals who served under him, said that he was the greatest general in American history, and they're not excluding Washington. So that kind of raises the stakes on who this guy was. So here's the essence of his career. He was born in Virginia, should have gone with the South. He was opposed to slavery from childhood. His father owned slaves, and he educated the slaves secretly, yeah, he thought it was a crime that there was that slavery was allowed. His family was so furious with him when he went with the North that they turned his pictures to the wall, never talked to him again. So he was sacrificing a lot. He cut his teeth in, during the Mexican-American War. And then uh, he began serving uh, first at Bull Run, and then his first great victory came in 1862. A huge force of Southerners attacked his group at Mill Springs, Tennessee, and he managed to reverse it with a small group. It was in January 62. This was the first significant victory for the North in the war. So that was a huge psychological uh, thing for the North at the time. And then he served uh, in some really tough battles down to another one that we've kind of forgotten about called Stones River uh, near Nashville. And it was one of the bloodiest, most desperate battles of the war. The entire Union Army collapsed except Thomas's group. And it was somebody said it was a scene as awful as anything I ever expect to witness until Judgment Day. And... Um, Braxton Bragg threw wave after wave of Confederates at him. Uh, by the end of the battle, 7,000 Union soldiers were dead, wounded, captured, or missing. So this was an extraordinary battle. But it was really this battle that determined that Britain and France decided not to come in and recognize the Confederacy. And then he went on to Chickamauga, where he held firm, and uh, he was known as the Rock at Chickamauga. It was a Union defeat, but he held his position. He became famous at Missionary Ridge near Chattanooga, uh, where they climbed that perpendicular ridge and, and took the Confederate positions at the top. He was on the Atlanta campaign in charge of, uh, I think, about 80% of the force. And then his last big battle of the war was at Nashville, and this was in uh, December of uh, 1864, so we're, it's almost the 150th anniversary, and he defeated the southern troops under John Bell Hood so decisively that one military scholar calls Nashville one of the two most perfect battles ever fought, the other one being Napoleon's victory at Austerlitz. So what does this have to do with today, other than broadening our horizons? Okay, number one, one reason he was so successful, and, and this applies to every single kind of job, is he didn't take shortcuts. He was often pressured to act before he was prepared. He was detail-minded. So if your boss keeps bugging you to launch something and it's not ready, you have to learn how to stand up to that pressure. Another thing is he was cool under fire. How many of us, you as a talk show host, the listener who's a cashier in a retail store and people are complaining, uh, you've got a pressure to meet a deadline for your boss, 
He remained cool under fire. Uh, he earned the trust of his subordinates by having character and integrity. And l- one last lesson is he had lots of critics. It's one of the reasons we don't hear about him today. He never responded with passion. He was calm, and he would respond in detail at a later time. So I think that he ought to be a contemporary hero. What do you think, James? I'll tell you, he sounds like... Uh... He sounds like they somebody they write about in books. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like extraordinary people books. That's right. For your listeners That's right. The, ma- the master of the segue strikes again, Mr. <laughs> Scott Smith, with us today. <laughs> hey, James. Uh, it's always fun to talk with you and talk about my favorite people. Uh, I think that um, if people want to see more of my stuff on the Civil War for your military nuts... Um, if they go to the Investors Business Daily website, which is uh, investors.com, they search my name, Scott S. Smith, okay. I got a slew of, of stuff up there. Now, they actually don't allow me to cover the rebel general, so don't hold it against me, guys. But, you know, I've got <laughs> Phil Sheridan and William Sherman and, you know, all those guys. And, and again, we kind of, this is not just a history lesson. It's about, um, you know, what what did they do to be so outstanding? And doesn't mean they were perfect, uh, but yeah. a lot of these guys, like Sherman, were misunderstood because their critics after the war often were glory hogs. They wrote books. They wrote memoirs. Often the people who were truly the most successful on the ground didn't necessarily want the limelight and uh, didn't necessarily tell their story. And that's what happened with George Thomas. He never wrote his memoirs, and you know he let other people have their... And so I think that um, one thing about reading biography, and I'm very passionate about this, yeah. is that it kind of gets behind your head. You know, we, can, we don't necessarily remember the facts in school, but we can remember a really good story. And uh-huh. so when you read somebody's personal story, it becomes inspiring. It kind of serves as a role model to your subconscious, puts your own problems in perspective, and, and uh, it's kind of like that old saying, you know, I was feeling sorry for myself without shoes, and then I saw someone without feet, right? I hear you. Good stuff, Scott. Well, uh, b- before we let you go for this week, uh, mention the website one more time where people yeah, can uh, get the book and everything else. Book.com, it has a sample chapter, and maybe we can get to Simone Bolivar next week. Definitely. I, 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 I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I enjoy our conversations each and every week, man. Thanks for doing this. Thanks, James. It's always fun. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Scott. Okay. Appreciate it, brother. Scott Smith with us today. We're going to take a uh, time out here when we come back. It's top of the hour time. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, I'm looking so forward to this. We will talk about, yes, WNJC and the Beer Man when we come back here on the program. Are you looking to start your own successful online business on 100% hands-off autopilot for only $9? That's right. For a one-time payment of only $9, you can get paid up to $600,000. Thousands of Americans have joined, and they are making tens of thousands and even hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they all started with just $9. Absolutely no experience is necessary. You are paid immediately and instantly. Join thousands of others and make up to $600,000. Sign up right now at www.goo.gl forward slash S as in Sam, W capital F as in Fred, 1AQ. Again, that's www.goo.gl forward slash S as in Sam, W capital F as in Fred, 1AQ. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Great Indiegogo campaign, John Rose Publishing Marketing Campaign. 
The campaign started on July 18th and will close on September 16th at midnight Pacific. Flexible funding available. You can donate as little as $5. For those that contribute $5 or more to this campaign, you're going to receive the e-books of your choice, equal to or better than the value of your contribution. John Rose Publishing, a brand new e-commerce store. Innovative e-books for your heart, health, education, and enjoyment. In today's modern technology, you can absolutely do everything online. You can shop, you can work, or you can even read different kinds of books just by using your cell phone or your tablet. Those books that you can download are called e-books. These books are very useful and handy. You can definitely read them anytime you want without carrying the actual thick pages. It is indeed the high-tech and portable version of large books. You just need to look for a very reliable source where you can download numerous kinds of e-books to enjoy its amazing advantages. John Rose Publishing is a new e-commerce store that offers different kinds of e-books, from recreational and health-related to self-help and many more. Two of the titles that they feature currently are Works Efficient. That's right, The Gatekeeper by C. Elise and Winter Soon by David Michael Martin. Check it out today. Amazing stuff. They've got amazing things going on over there. John Rose Publishing Marketing Campaign is available on Indiegogo.com. That's www.indiegogo.com. Search John Rose Publishing. It's going to be amazing stuff. We'll spell it for you. I-N-D-I-E-G-O-G-O.com. Search John Rose Publishing, and that's J-O-N-R-O-S-E Publishing. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Are you out of work? Are you looking to make a lot of money on the Internet from the comfort of your home? I have consistently made over $30,000 every month for the past eight years. It's fun, it's easy, and beginners are desperately needed right now. Sign up today at www.goo.gl forward slash capital W, capital N, zero, lowercase x, lowercase u, the number nine. And potentially make over $30,000 a month, just like I did. Again, the website address is www.goo.gl forward slash capital W, capital N, zero, lowercase x, lowercase u, the number nine. For this fabulous Friday, let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Lorene Giordano, from Inspired to Health, wants to bring awareness to women and men about the Robin Danielson Act of 2014. There is a petition before Congress to get femcare companies to disclose what they are using to create tampons, pads, synthetic fibers, unknown perfumes, dioxin, which is linked to cancer. There's no transparency when there should be considering these products are regularly used near a ladies' baby-making slash female hormone-making center. Women, especially young women, are not fully aware of the risks of tampon use or symptoms of toxic shock syndrome. This bill will help shine a light on how these important products are produced. Congresswoman Carolyn Mahoney has been trying for 20 years to get something passed, but the bill usually gets stalled or rejected. The Robin Danielson Act needs your help. Please call your congressman, congresswoman, and take a minute to sign the petition and share with your friends. Here's the petition to change.org. Check it out today. It's change.org, the Robin Danielson Act. Search for it over there. And uh, it's a it's a it's a great great act. It's got a lot of different things. That's helping the women out there. Inspired to Health website is www.inspiredtohealth.net. Check out facebookcom health and also they're on Twitter. Inspire the number two health. Remember change.org. That's c h a n g e dot o r g, and search the Robin Danielson Act and tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia World. We all love a great deal, especially when we get quality items at a great price. I want to tell you about an eBay store that has some of the best deals I've ever seen, and you got to check it out. MyFloorToShop.com MyFloorToShop.com offers great deals on clothes for men and women, gift items, jewelry, and more. With brands like Chico's, Old Navy, Dockers, Land's Inn, Izon, only to name a few. You'll save 10% on the quality items at MyFloorToShop.com and always free shipping. MyFloridaShop.com just added plus size clothing. New items are added every month. Right now there's a big sale going on at MyFloridaShop.com to make room for new inventory. Visit right now MyFloridaShop.com Welcome to the world famous Jiggy T. 
Jaguar radio program. Raw and uncut, Jag, you know how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it all the way live. Broadcasting live from Hutchinson, Kansas. Well, I'm sitting here with a linguist. I had a no idea. <laughs> I love I didn't that. know you were a but I didn't know that you were a wordsmith. <laughs> Call Jiggy right now. 267 22 Jiggy. Hey Jiggy, what's happening, man? You must be that uh, David Bowie song. Jiggy play guitar. Jeff. It's a great name, man. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Presenting. I'm, I'm Mike Massey, and uh, you know, you can catch me on Jiggy Jag TV and uh, see a few of my tricks up there. Thank you very much. Jiggy Jaguar. I never knew what freedom was until I saw you lose yours. Oh, it's going to be a fun hour. Second hour kicks off of the world famous Cheeky Jaguar radio broadcast. You better hit the video recorder on this one. We're going to record this. 2 to 5 Central, 3 to 6 Eastern, 12 to 3 Pacific, and 20 ball 7. At JiggyJaguar.com. Tune in apps, radio loyalty, iHeartRadio. Live stream, you stream, I stream. Tune in. YouTubes. You stream. I think I mentioned that. Our podcast is available on JiggyJaguar.com. 267-22-J-I-G-G-Y. That's 267-22-J-I-G-G-Y from the KJAG Radio Studios in the Great Salt City of Hutchinson, Kansas. We're live as live can get. Retired model and... Uh, no, we're not going to do that one this hour. Um, my product is my career. It's a great focus book. Three are three books in the series. It should be there are three books in the series. Well, whatever. All are on Amazon.com. The perfect fit for careers. The perfect fit for careers for Christians in career planning and personal advancement workbook. From Latrice Collins. That's our great sponsor for this segment of the world famous Cheeky Chick Wire radio program. Now, we're going to get into it today. WNJC is a station in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I don't know why I had to get Brother Ken voice on the whole thing, but it's called WNJC1360.com, Philadelphia's Renaissance Station. Now, a couple years ago, we interviewed, uh, I, I when I was working at 92.7, the zoo, and Rockingham Radio in Salina, Kansas, we used to get... Prep sheets from Premier Radio. We were subscribed to Premier Radio Prep. And they would send out various suggestions of guests to maybe have on your show, things of that nature. Well, I came across a guy by the name of the Philly Beer Man. Now, we had him on the radio program. Personally, the interview was very forgettable. I don't even think I recorded the interview, so I don't even think we have any tra- any any record of it. I'll have to look on JiggyJaguar.com and see if we even have a record of this guy. Well, we went ahead, and he kept in contact with us over the years. He must have really enjoyed coming on the show. I... I'll tell you, I I can remember to this day a lot of the different people we have on the show. He's not one of them. We went ahead and kept corresponding with him. Well, then a couple years ago, or maybe even a year ago, he started getting a hold of me on Twitter. And he's like, oh, we're getting ready to put the, the Beer Man Network on. I want you to be a part of it. I want you to be part of the Beer Man Network. I don't know what the hell the Bear Man Network was. But I thought, okay, I'm I'm never going to turn down anybody that wants to air the show. We don't do that here. I'm not going to turn down anybody who wants to hear or wants to restream our show or re-air our show or give us a time slot or whatever. Then about three months ago, I was contacted by him, and he's like, I really need to speak with you. really need to speak with you. He blew up email. He blew up Twitter. He blew up my phone. i got to speak with you. i got to speak with you. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. So I got a hold of the guy. <laughs> I got a hold of the guy. Well, the guy went ahead, and he says, we're going we're gonna to get you on a station called WNJC Radio. 
Well, no, he didn't tell me. He didn't tell me the radio station at first. He was like, "It's a big AM station, big AM station. We're gonna get you on there, AM radio. We're gonna get you on there, Philadelphia. It's in Philadelphia." And he's all pumped up. And then he tells me, "Well, we're gonna get Bob Levy on there too. I got the Reverend Bob Levy coming on." Now, Bob Levy is a comedian from Philadelphia who used to be on the Kid Chris show several years ago when Kid Chris was heard in Philadelphia. I don't really think Bob Levy's that funny. But I know that people in Philly think he is God. It would be similar to the Grease Man or Howard Stern back in the DC 101 days or Tom Likas in Southern California or um, Opie and Anthony in uh, New York or um, let's see who's another good one. Uh, Kid Chris in Atlanta I guess now. These guys are looked upon as gods. Hank the Mechanic in Wichita, Kansas. Looked upon as gods. Now, I'm not saying anything bad about all, any of those guys. For one thing, I kind of consider Hank a friend now. And uh, I've always been a Kid Chris fan. Worship the ground that Tom Likas walks on. Things like that. But. Exactly. But this Philly beer man. This guy. We got ghosts or rats or something. I don't know. Something somewhere. To make it to make that big of a noise, something's hitting it and moving it, and it's got to be an animal of some sort. Let's see if it comes out here to say hello to us. Well, we go ahead and we keep talking to this Philly beer man. Oh, I'm going to get you on radio. I'm going to get you on radio. Well, he tells me, first of all, we're going to do the show. And it, we're going to put you on once a week, and we might possibly put you on more. Um, you're going to be on at like midnight or one in the morning, uh, Eastern. It's a really crappy time slot, but it'll get better. We got on, and he, and he puts it over to me. He, he, he's trying the old radio stuff of, well, it's a good time slot. We're going to put you over. This will be the greatest thing in the world. We're going to put you over. So... I don't really care. I'm just like, okay, that's awesome. Let's go for it. We're, we'll put you on the air. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Because in the back of my mind, I don't think this thing's going to go anyway. But I'm like, hey, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So we go ahead, and we're putting the thing together. Then gets a hold of me, and he's like, ah, time slot's out. We're moving you to Sundays. We're going to put you on a slot for 30 minutes, potentially maybe an hour, if this works out. Sundays at 4.30 Eastern. This is a done deal. Now, during the state fair, I covered the state fair for the first two weeks of September. This guy called me every day, talked to me on the phone, hit me up on Twitter, are you still interested? Are we jumping in there? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And he's all excited. Well then, he tells me, we're going to do the Sunday deal. It's going to be the greatest thing ever. Puts it over to me. Selling it to me. Finally, he says, Sunday's out. <laughs> now keep in mind, he's given me two or three time slots. He gave me one that was like Wednesday in the morning, Thursday in the morning, one that was going to be Friday, one that was going to be Sunday. We've given me all these time slots. So then he decides, well, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to put you on, um, we're going to have you start out as a, as a caller of the show. I need you to be a caller of the show. And I think what he was attempting to do here. Jim Rome, way back in the day, used to have various callers to his show. And then one of them actually got a radio show out of it. A guy by the name of J.T. The Brick. And I think that's what they were attempting here. There's been other radio guys, um, callers that used to call into the Howard Stern show, 
callers that used to call into Opie and Anthony, people like that, they would get their own radio programs. The radio stations would, would hire them, or radio stations would contact them, and they would get jobs. Um, I believe Danny Bonaducci might have started out that way in radio. I'm, I can't be for sure on that. But these guys, they end up getting spots because they're callers to radio shows. There was a guy that used to do a show called Sample Text that we did in Salina, Kansas. Keith Davies. Keith Davies was a hired professional phone caller. He got hired by shows like Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, and others to call radio shows. He was hired to do that. They'd give him a list of talking points. He'd call in. He'd argue with the host for a little bit. They would then, he would get turned around and he would go away. And it's just the way it is. It's just the old radio tricks. So they were going to do this. Philly Beer Man was going to be calling to this show. Oh, we're going to have you call in to be the greatest thing ever. So, he tells me a time. Well, first of all, he gets the time wrong. <laughs> I tune in to this station, WNJC Radio. Now, this is another thing, too. I have been promoting WNJC Radio, been promoting it on our air, been doing all these things. Oh, my God, WNJC. Well, then I'm told, no, 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 no. I even have the email still. He says, we're going to be on there, but you need to promote it as the Beer Man Network. You're broadcasting on the Beer Man Network. Now, I don't know what the f- a Beer Man Network is, but I do know that WNJC Radio is a Philadelphia radio station. That's where we're broadcasting. That's where I'm going to plug. We broadcast on AMFM247.com. The reason I pro- promote them as AMFM247.com is because, one, they're the reason I'm on, I'm on iHeartRadio. They're also the reason why we have this show on several AM, FM stations across the country and around the world. Two, I promote the Starcom Radio Network on this program. The reason is, is because we're on like 20 plus AM, FM stations across the country and around the world. Beer Man Network is just some kind of shenanigans. It's like when Man Cow out of Chicago used to say, the Free Speech Radio Network. There's no such thing as the Free Speech Radio Network. It doesn't exist. It's like Rush Limbaugh saying the Excellence in Broadcasting Network. He's the only show on that network. So I call into this Philly Beer Man show. Now keep in mind, it starts out where he comes on and he goes, I got this sexy co-host. Sexy co-host. We'll come to find out she's some... She's some perv that he met at a, at a Phillies game or an Eagles game. She was tailgating. So he decided to wow her and tried to get her on the air. I know what this is. Radio guys do this all the time. They go get the sexy female host. So they've got to try to draw in that demographic. Basically what Opie and Anthony refers to these people over the years is a whole. Because that's what you are. You're a whole In the broadcast, you're just a hole. You're just there. Something else is that nobody taught this woman how to do radio. We're putting her on the radio. Granted, WNJC Radio, it's at like 11 o'clock at night Eastern Time. I get it. But still, someone like me, and if you're watching the video right now, right there, buddy... I'm near the microphone. You can hear me. I have headphones on. Everything's turned up right. My God, get it together. Then, they they have this woman on. Now, they talk for... Now, I was told to call in, so I did. Here is that exchange. Jiggly. Jaguar. First of all, he calls me Jiggly. It's Jiggy, Pete. Look it up. Jiggly's fine. I've been called much worse. How are you? <laughs> this, okay, well, you this, know, it's a brand new experience. They've got me on speakerphone. Something else. When I worked at Rockingham Radio in Salina, Kansas, we had something, and I have it here. It's called the Broadcast Host Digital Hybrid. 
When you put calls on the air, they sound like this. They sound like actual phone calls. I called him from this studio. You can clearly hear me on speakerphone. God knows what that sounded like on the actual air. For me coming back to AM radio. So. Well, so far, this sounds like a train wreck. Uh, <laughs> this is the thing. The show was a complete train wreck. They have something in professional wrestling. They, they refer to it as a botch. When someone screws up, it's a botch. And they have a YouTube series called Botchamania. The hell is that crawling up my leg? But they have something. <laughs> they have something called Botchamania, which is an entire like eight or nine minute collection of botches. They have news fails on YouTube, where where you've got like the woman who was smoking pot and she goes, "I'm quitting." Fuck it. That's what this show was. It was a train wreck. It was a botch. These guys for probably 30 minutes. See, how, how a radio show is supposed to work. I'm going to give you a little inside Radio 101 right now. We've, we've, we've skipped the break. We'll make up for it later. I'm on a rant here. <laughs> Here's how this works. Radio stations, usually at the top of every... Uh, here, here's how it works. A talk radio program is divided into four segments. Four. The first segment is a commentary, uh, topic of events, things of that nature. You give the call-in number. You give the, the Skype. You get all the stuff. Then your second is usually a commentary piece. And then your third and your fourth are your phone calls. If you can get phone calls. Or if you take phone calls. How this program works is we have a, we have a commentary or we have some type of thing at the top. Second and third block, which would be a custom A, which would be a custom to B and C block, is your interview. And then your third, or your your fourth segment is um, a commentary. Is 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 a regular correspondent. Like in our first hour, we had Scott Smith call in. In this hour, we'll have Shannon Rose from the Hollywood Rose Report. That will be how things work. But Philly Beer Man. He goes on. Uh, I get on the air and I basically bury these guys. I <laughs> got it. Come on, it's it was a you, long night ahead of us. You got this. You, I don't know who who the stick guy was earlier. He he said two things and he's not said anything since. Oh, this is another thing. He decides to have on the air some local yokel guy, some local personality by the name of Stick Man or Stick Guy or something. And then he keeps promising giant news, giant news, giant news. Then at one point he gets Bob Levy on the air. Now, I'm not going to criticize Bob Levy because I don't have a problem with Bob Levy. We'll just say that radio show is not going to set the world on fire. Let's go. You sound like D. Snyder, which I think is awesome. And uh, He did sound like D. Snyder. uh, Then you got some perv magnet there. Um, I sure hope McDonald's actually gave you guys some money. This another thing. They keep plugging McDonald's. You never on the radio plug anybody unless they're paying you. It's like television shows when they have people sitting there and they've got bottles of water and they say Aquafina and they rip the label off and they put tape over it. We're not going to give Aquafina a free plug. Because you've plugged him a couple different times. This is this this is entertaining radio. This is this is definitely not as the Philadelphia listeners remember Kid Chris. This is definitely not Kid Chris, but uh, it's it, it's pretty close. Um, what what else are we doing this evening? Oh, we got a big time, big time lineup coming up. Uh, I tell you, we're going to. He just kept promoting the fact that he has this big time lineup coming up, and I listened. God knows I listened for three hours. Finally, after the third hour, I had to check out. I even had some of the guys from Talk Radio X go over and check this thing out. Horrible. Radio Dan. Dan Delgado from Talk Radio X. He is he is essentially a podcaster. He's essentially a radio guy. He's essentially an internet guy. His show, I listened to this Philly Beer Man, and I went over and listened to Dan's show, 
and then I flipped back and forth. Dan's show is the internet show. They should have traded spots. Dan should have been in the studio doing his show. They should have been in Dan's house doing an internet show. Talk to the brother of poker star, Mike the Mouse. And for whatever reason, this Philadelphia radio station was obsessed with poker. They had a show on called House of Cards. <laughs> Not the television show from Netflix. Some poker radio show. I've never heard of it, ever, till this night. And I hope to never hear it again. They had two shows. They were 30 minutes long. It was the same show, and they replayed it back to back. And then they got in this Philly Beer Man thing. Madison's brother Scotty will be joining us tonight. I'll tell you, this this station, I've been listening to this thing called House of go. Cards. I've never yeah. heard of this show. It's actually pretty decent. Uh, the, way, the way the show was done, the radio part of it, the structure, everything, perfect. The content, not so much. And then you've got a poker guy coming on. What is this, an entire poker radio station? That's awesome. No, 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 no. no. We got sports talk. What do you want to talk about? That's you sports talk. talk. You want to talk about Ray Rice? What's your opinion? No, I don't want to talk. I have no clue. All, all, all I know is... Uh, is uh, I don't watch football except for the Raiders, so that's and that, that's pretty bad to say on a uh, Philadelphia station. I guess I, I should be saying, well, I'm an Eagles fan. But, well, I'm uh, not a Patriots fan because, honestly, <laughs> I don't remember the Raiders Super Bowl. Rendell Cunham, the, uh, the, the, the great Philadelphia Eagle from back in the day. I don't even remember the name. You don't, you don't remember Randall Cunningham? Really? Oh! I tell you, see, I told everybody, I warned them, I said I didn't have much sleep last night. Right, no now, kidding. This is my sleep time. Oh, my God. Yeah, this, this will be a train wreck, but you know what? It'll get better, trust me. Oh, gonna, I hope. I'm going to be listening to I, you. I, I like to start the show off on a bumpy road if you get in my dress. Okay. <laughs> well, they go on, and they, and they, uh... <laughs> Well, we just go. After a little bit, you know. What I mean, like we just we just have a little bit of a. Tea you can tell he's nervous. Tea. It's an old Philadelphia. FM I'm calling him out on some things, and you can tell he's nervous. The ratings on that thing were huge. I used to go to sleep on it. I'm showing my age. I'm going to be 38 in four days. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not a young guy anymore. You're not a young enough. guy anymore. <laughs> I got a little rust on me. So 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 what else? What else are we? Uh, what what else are we digging into this evening? Let's talk about reality television shows. Let's talk about that new one, Utopia, on Fox, with the legendary Reds. That guy is the best. Uh, I, I, I want the uh, I want the opinion of the perv magnet. What, what, what does she think of this Here reality she, TV show? I don't think I'm going to be a fan, to be honest. Okay, she's not even sitting close to the fucking microphone. You're on radio, tuts. We can't see you. Even if we could see you, we've got to be able to hear you. I may put this entire five-minute conversation up on the website, cheekycheckwire.com, so you can hear it. I call back a little bit later on. I basically go on to bury these guys on the air. He takes me off the air. I don't know if he went to a break or what it was but he took me off the air and he's like you're killing me man you're killing me here and it's like dude I am essentially a heckler I am also on your radio show learn how to do radio I just well he says then he gets he, he says well I'll get a hold of you I'll get a hold of you next couple days so then now, keep in mind, before he got on the air, I called him, and I said, you know, what are we doing about getting my show to you guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, originally, I wanted to bring me in on the telephone. This is not blog talk radio. We're not broadcasting a phone call. I then suggested Skype. They didn't know how to set that up. So I... I've been trying to get a hold of a tech guy. He won't let me talk to a tech guy. He was going to have me do a conference call with the owner of the station, and then that never materialized. 
And then <laughs> he tells me, well, I'm going to pass you over to our board op. So he passes me to the board op. Well, the board op is like, well, um, you can send me a file and I can run it. Or we can take you in, you know, through a pot on the board. And he's a real knowledgeable guy. He's like, you're going to have to talk to John Forsythe, I think is the guy's name. I think he's the guy that either co-owns the station, owns the station, or is in charge of it. Gives me a phone number. Okay, I call John the next day. I get voicemail. I wait a day. I call him again. I get voicemail. Now, I can't ever get this John Forsythe guy to call me back. Well, then all of a sudden, the beer man gets a hold of me and goes, Oh, uh, we're going to have to uh, visit this later. I'll have to get you on later. I don't know why he sounds like a 1920s mobster at this point. So there it is. WNJC. Not going to be on the air over there anytime soon. Basically what I think happened here, in all seriousness, what happened is... This guy never had any permission whatsoever to get me on the air. And when I kept calling this this John Forsythe, he had no clue who I was. It's not that big of a deal. I would love to be on the air over there, but I don't think it's ever going to happen at this stage. So That is that. We're going to take a quick time out here. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about this WNJC thing. We also may just touch on a... Well, I think we've pretty much covered that. We'll cover something else when we come back here on The World Thanks. For this fabulous Friday, let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Lorene Giordano. From Inspired to Health, wants to bring awareness to women and men about the Robin Danielson Act of 2014. There is a petition before Congress to get femcare companies to disclose what they are using to create tampons, pads, synthetic fibers, unknown perfumes, dioxin, which is linked to cancer. There's no transparency when there should be considering... These products are regularly used near a ladies' baby-making slash female hormone-making center. Women, especially young women, are not fully aware of the risks of tampon use or symptoms of toxic shock syndrome. This bill will help shine a light on how these important products are produced. Congresswoman Carolyn Mahoney has been trying for 20 years to get something passed, but the bill usually gets stalled or rejected. The Robin Danielson Act needs your help. Please call your congressman, congresswoman, and take a minute to sign the petition and share with your friends. Here's the petition to change.org. Check it out today. It's change.org, the Robin Danielson Act. Search for it over there. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great, great act. It's got a lot of different things, and it's helping the women out there. Inspired to Health website is www.inspiredtohealth.net. Check out Facebook.com slash Inspired to Health, and also they're on Twitter, Inspire the number two health. Remember, change.org, that's C-H-A-N-G-E dot O-R-G, and search the Robin Danielson Act, and tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia World. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. It's a fantastic Indiegogo campaign. Check out I-N-D-I-E-G-O-G-O dot com. Search Portable Solar Charger Auto Tracking Mount. Amazing Kickstarter project. A lean, green tracking machine. It's also a portable solar charger. They've got some great rewards over there. You can help these guys for as little as a dollar. Come on, everybody's got a dollar. Alexandria, Ohio is where this is based. Dave Weaver is back with us. He's a retired Coast Guard warrant engineer. And he likes to make things, mostly yard toys for granddaughters. He makes air cannons, roller coasters, water balloon lodgers, and anything that will help keep them coming back on the weekends. You love those girls. And uh, water balloon launcher, uh, it's it, it's an amazing invention. However, um, it is it is fantastic that uh, 
He's wanting to help out the environment here. He's always had a fascination with solar power, both active and passive, so much that he's converted his barn into a giant passive solar absorber. That is amazing. We've seen it. It's amazing. Good stuff. He's constructed a uh, polycarbonite wall with aluminum extended frame six inches in front of the garage door, but flush with the exterior. When the temperature in the uh, void exceeds 90 degrees, the garage door opens, exposing a wall of black corrugated steel. The heat is more than sufficient to heat the workplace. Propane heater takes the chill off the very cold days. It's a uh, great marketing campaign, and uh, we thank you for supporting that. Check out Indiegogo.com and search for the Polar Solar Charger. And thanks for listening to us here on Transmedia Worldwide. We all love a great deal, especially when we get quality items at a great price. I want to tell you about an eBay store that has some of the best deals I've ever seen, and you got to check it out. MyFloridaShop.com MyFloridaShop.com offers great deals on clothes for men and women, gift items, jewelry, and more. With brands like Chico's, Old Navy, Dockers, Lands Inn, Izon, only to name a few. You'll save 10% on the quality items at MyFloridaShop.com and always free shipping. MyFloridaShop.com just added plus size clothing. New items are added every month. Right now there's a big sale going on at MyFloridaShop.com to make room for new inventory. Visit right now MyFloridaShop.com Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Want something awesome for your kids, teenagers, and pets? How about a giant long bed pillow in the shape of a ninja that they can wrestle and play with? Check out the new Kickstarter camp crowdfunding campaign called the Ninja Pillow. This product is a must for promoting active play, imagination, and just cool fun. Everyone needs a ninja pillow in their house. Visit ninjapillow.com and we'll spell it for you in I N J A P I L L O W. Dot com or search kickstarter.com for ninja pillow and that's k i c k s t a r t e r.com order your ninja pillow today pledges start at just a dollar to support and awesome ninja pillow rewards are available it's kickstarter.com search ninja pillow or go to ninjapillow.com and tell them you heard about it here on transmedia worldwide Somewhere over the rainbow lies a pot of gold that's sure to make your next fundraising event a huge success. Rainbow Dust, the innovative and exciting project that is a must-have for any fundraiser, is the hottest interactive candy product on the market today. Visit www.myrainbowdust.com to see how Rainbow Dust can add magic to your next function. Find out why kids will be standing in line for their turn at making their own delicious Rainbow Dust candy creation. Use the promo code RADIO2 to receive free ground shipping myrainbowdust.com let the magic begin thanks for tuning in to jiggy jaguar 24 7 brought to you by jordan's juice barbecue sauce juice it up with jordan's online at jordansjuice.com oh boy oh boy welcome back to the big broadcast two to five central three to six eastern twelve to three pacific it's when we live 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 this show 24-7 at JiggyJaguar.com on the TuneIn apps, Radio Loyalty, and of course, iHeartRadio. 267-22-JIGGY if you want to give us a call. 267-22-JIGGY if you want to say hello to us. Jiggy Jaguar Radio Broadcast. This segment is brought to you by our good friend Brian Collis. Hey, all you entrepreneurs out there, I want to let you know about a great podcast called The Wow Small Business with Brian Orr. It's a great resource for tips, tactics, and inspiration for small business folks out there of all types and sizes. So check it out today at wowsmallbiz.com. Wowsmallbiz.com. And subscribe on iTunes. That's W-O-W-S-M-A-L-L-B-I-Z dot com. And, uh... Tons of good stuff today. Lots of good things going on. If you just joined us, you've missed a lot. (laughs) You've missed a lot. 
40 minutes after the hour. The radio program itself, the Sunday radio show, we do a we do a show at first called the Jiggy Jaguar Experience. We, we did that for several years. We eventually moved into doing the daily radio program, which, which you're currently hearing right now. And that is guests. That's, you know, we, we've managed to sell commercials for this show. We've got regular contributors. You heard Scott Smith earlier. The Sunday radio program is, as I like to say, I guess you would refer to it as a cavalcade of craziness. It's chaos personified. It's guests, it's rappers, it's porn stars, it's all these things. It's everything this show is not. <laughs> but we're slowly but surely, well, it's it's turning into a situation where we have to, at some point, differ- we tried to differentiate, but it's not working. <laughs> Case in point is what happened on Sunday. We do a three-hour radio program here each and every day, Monday through Friday. We do a three-hour radio program, 2 Central, 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific. I talk about it all the time. We had a little bit of an issue on Sunday because on Sunday at our Crow's Nest remote, they thought we were live for three hours. We're really live for two on Sunday, two to four. Two to four, three to five. Twelve to two. But. Slowly but surely, these shows are going to have to merge. <laughs> Alex Jones does a show Monday through Friday, and then he does a Sunday show. I don't know why he does a Sunday show. I think he does a Sunday show because he, because they uh, can use that as a way to get into other markets and things like that. and you know, maybe there's some shows that don't want to carry Alex Jones three hours a day, so he does a weekend show. I don't know. We do the Sunday show because I've always enjoyed doing the Sunday radio show. We have done that show since 1993. Sundays always were about the Sunday radio program. It was called the Jiggy Jaguar Show, called the Jiggy Jaguar Experience, called the Sunday radio show. That's what we do. But slowly but surely... That show has to merge and become part of the daily radio show. Now, what will that mean for the daily radio show? That won't mean anything. (laughs) We're still going to do what we're doing here. But on Sundays, we might clean it up a little bit. Because on Sundays, we're heard on Radio Xenu. And that's it. RadioZenu.com. We're heard on some other stations across the country and around the world, but they're all either little low-power stations or they're Internet stations or they're stations that don't care about the language and the content. So, I don't know. It's, It's a strange day here. We're back. Our very first day back. We'll be here on Friday. God willing, we'll be here Monday. (laughs) So, that is that. But I'm looking at merging the Sunday radio program and the the regular radio show into one format. We probably wouldn't do three hours on Sunday. I'd probably still do the two. The guests wouldn't change. Oh, in fact, we do have a little bit of an announcement that we have to make. Sunday, Sunday, here it is, Sunday, October 26th, we will be live as live can get from Wichita, Kansas. We're going to do another live remote. Part of the reason why we're doing these live remotes is because, well, I'm planning 
to move in the direction of Wichita, Kansas. We're planning on heading to Wichita, Kansas. We're going to take the we're going to take the radio show on the road. And we're going to pack it up and we're going to move to Wichita. However, before we get to Wichita, we're doing a series of live remotes to basically keep the faith and get things ready to go and all these deals. And what they are is they're once a month radio shows broadcasted from Wichita. What this means for you and what this means for me is the following. All of our radio shows that we do, our live remotes, are all going to be named after Huey Lewis songs. I don't know why, (laughs) but they are. The live remote, the fifth remote from Wichita, will be called Hip to be Square. (laughs) And it will be at Polly's Productions, which is 1119 West Douglas in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, We're going to be carried on Radio Xenu. We're also going to be carried on KJGradio.com. Two to four, we're going to be chatting with some big heavy hitters that day. Lee Hightower will be coming in and talking about Polly's Productions. We are working on another guest at this point. I'm thinking it might be Meaningful Music, which is a local rap group, Key Boy, and a few others. Three o'clock, we're going to be talking to um, Mr. Serenade, Ballistic, and Mr. Damien Styles. 3.30 3.30 to 4, I'm not sure who we're going to get, but we'll get somebody. And uh, also appearances by Israel, Mr. Mike Game, Dayon, our Wichita program manager, Terrence Hayes, the various, the various suspects. <laughs> we'll be talking to them Sunday, October 26th, 2 to 4, at Polly's Productions in Wichita, Kansas. Look for more information on JiggyJaguar.com. For whatever reason or another... Well, that's another thing we're going to be doing. I'm wanting to combine... Because I say JiggyJaguar.com a heck of a lot. And people know that's the website. But... Sundays, we send everybody to JiggyJaguar.net. So I think maybe we might be, I don't know, we may be, uh, who knows, who knows what the hell is going on. But uh, we're going to do this, we're going to take a time out. It's 48 minutes after the hour. When we come back, we're going to talk about the Eric Holder situation. Eric Holder is stepping down as Attorney General. And apparently, on a local news site, Cake.com, they apparently have all sorts of nasty, horrible comments. So we're going to read those on the air when we come back. (laughs) Here on the World Famous Jiggy Jaguar Show, Ghost to Ghost. And bought it up, bought it all over the World Wide Web. And on 50 plus stations across the U.S. and Canada. I did get a tweet from the Philly Beer Man. Suppose I had this whole thing all wrong. <laughs> all wrong. For this fabulous Friday. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Lorene Giordano. From Inspired to Health, wants to bring awareness to women and men about the Robin Danielson Act of 2014. There is a petition before Congress to get femcare companies to disclose what they are using to create tampons, pads, synthetic fibers, unknown perfumes, dioxin, which is linked to cancer. There's no transparency when there should be considering these products are regularly used near a ladies' baby-making slash female hormone-making center. Women, especially young women, are not fully aware of the risks of tampon use or symptoms of toxic shock syndrome. This bill will help shine a light on how these important products are produced. Congresswoman Carolyn Mahoney has been trying for 20 years to get something passed, but the bill usually gets stalled or rejected. The Robin Danielson Act needs your help. 
Please call your congressman, congresswoman, and take a minute to sign the petition and share with your friends. Here's the petition to change.org. Check it out today. It's change.org, the Robin Danielson Act. Search for it over there. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great, great act. It's got a lot of different things. It's helping the women out there. Inspired to Health's website is www.inspiredtohealth.net. Check out facebook.com slash inspired to health. And also they're on Twitter, inspire the number two health. Remember, change.org. That's C H A N G E dot O R G. And search the Robin Danielson Act. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia World. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Want something awesome for your kids, teenagers, and pets? How about a giant long bed pillow in the shape of a ninja that they can wrestle and play with? Check out the new Kickstarter camp crowdfunding campaign called the Ninja Pillow. This product is a must for promoting active play, imagination, and just cool fun. Everyone needs a Ninja Pillow in their house. Visit ninjapillow.com and we'll spell it for you N I N J A P I L L O W dot com or search Kickstarter.com for Ninja Pillow. And that's K I C K S T A R T E R dot com. Order your Ninja Pillow today. Pledges start at just a dollar to support. And awesome Ninja Pillow rewards are available. It's Kickstarter.com. Search Ninja Pillow. Or go to ninjapillow.com and tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia Worldwide. Somewhere over the rainbow lies a pot of gold that's sure to make your next fundraising event a huge success. Rainbow Dust, the innovative and exciting project that is a must-have for any fundraiser, is the hottest interactive candy product on the market today. Visit www.myrainbowdust.com to see how Rainbow Dust can add magic to your next function. Find out why kids will be standing in line for their turn at making their own delicious Rainbow Dust candy creation. Use the promo code RADIO2 to receive free ground shipping myrainbowdust.com let the magic begin let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at transmedia worldwide it's a fantastic indiegogo campaign check out i n d i e g o g o dot com search portable solar charger auto tracking mount amazing kickstarter project a lean green tracking machine it's also a portable solar charger They've got some great rewards over there. You can help these guys for as little as a dollar. Come on, everybody's got a dollar. Alexandria, Ohio is where this is based. Dave Weaver is back with us. He's a retired Coast Guard warrant engineer, and he likes to make things, mostly yard toys for granddaughters. He makes air cannons, roller coasters, water balloon lodgers, and anything that will help keep them coming back on the weekends. You love those girls. And uh, Water Balloon Launcher, uh, it's, it's an amazing invention. However, um, it, is, it is fantastic that uh, he's wanting to help out the environment here. He's always had a fascination with solar power, both active and passive, so much that he's converted his barn into a giant passive solar absorber that is amazing. We've seen it. It's amazing. Good stuff. He's constructed a uh, polycarbonite wall with aluminum extended frame six inches in front of the garage door, but flush with the exterior. When the temperature in the uh, void exceeds 90 degrees, the garage door opens, exposing a wall of black corrugated steel. The heat is more than sufficient to heat the workplace. Propane heater takes the chill off the very cold days. It's a uh, great marketing campaign. And uh, we thank you for supporting that. Check out Indiegogo.com and search for the Polar Solar Charger. And thanks for listening to us here on Transmedia Worldwide. We all love a great deal, especially when we get quality items at a great price. I want to tell you about an eBay store that has some of the best deals I've ever seen, and you got to check it out. MyFloorToShop.com MyFloorToShop.com offers great deals on clothes for men and women, gift items, jewelry, and more. With brands like Chico's, Old Navy, Dockers, Land's Inn, Izon, only to name a few. You'll save 10% on the quality items at MyFloorToShop.com and always free shipping. MyFloridaShop.com just added plus size clothing. New items are added every month. Right now there's a big sale going on at MyFloridaShop.com to make room for new inventory. Visit right now MyFloridaShop.com 
Totally serious about that, too. Presenting Jiggy Jaguar. No ego there. It is a world famous Jiggy Jaguar radio broadcast from the Transmedia Worldwide Studios in Hutchinson, Kansas. Live today on the Starcom Radio Network. Also, our good friends over there at talkradiox.com. Actually, what am I doing? I was looking at an email from Talk Radio X. It's not them. We're not live over there. Well, hell, we might as well be live. Uh, they don't have any programming over there. <laughs> they might as well pick up our show. They have no. They really have no original programming left. But uh, lots of different things going on. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. We got a tweet. We've got a little bit of time here. We'll cover this tweet here. Uh, We got a tweet from the Philly Beer Man. (laughs) He apparently decided to listen after I sent him the tweet and said, we're going to be doing the full story. (laughs) Coming up. He apparently was paying attention. Facebook wants me to do some privacy shenanigans, and I basically told them no, so they've slowed down my bead. <laughs> That's fantastic. The Philly Beer Man says, Bring me to explain my side. You got this all wrong. I will be speaking to the station owner about your show shortly. Yeah, I'm sure you will. I will believe it when I see it. <laughs> if you, <laughs> Here's what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. If you get me on WNJC, I will apologize for everything on this program, and I will bring you on, and I will personally apologize to you on the air. But here's the deal. There's a little bit of holes there in your tweets, my friend. Uh, You said something about, bring me on to explain my side. You got this all wrong. Okay, that's perfectly fine. And then he says, well, I'll be speaking to the station owner about your show shortly. I thought he'd already done that. I thought he'd already talked to the station owner and we're going to be part of the Bear Man Network and all that stuff. No wonder John Forsythe doesn't know who the hell I am. (laughs) No wonder he doesn't call me back. (laughs) Ah, it doesn't matter. Uh, this 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 WNJC they remind me of KCXL in Kansas City KCXL.com I went up there and I visited with the KCXL people several god Jesus what was that 4 years ago now went to Kansas City checked out their station talked to Dave Brewer all these different people and Enjoyed my tour of the station. Enjoyed the place. I got to talk to... uh, Who was that guy that they had up there at that time? Uh, Had that that show. He was supposed to be like... Kind of like a saner version of Alex Jones. Hell was that guy's name? I'll think of it. Hmm... Uh, what was it? Uh, After Dark or something? What was it? Some sort of shenanigans. It doesn't matter. Well, we'll see what happens with this Philly beer, man. We'll bring you an update if there is one. I don't think there's going to be one. Because he says something about how, well, uh, uh, I'm going to talk to the station owner about your show. But yet, he had already talked to the station owner about the show. But Whatever. Uh, Eric Holder resigned today, and that's not the story. I don't care about that part of it. I care about the comments. Apparently the comments on this story are out of control. Another rat leaves the sinking ship. Rat is in demo rat. 
Democrat. They must have something big on him that they haven't told us about yet. His career as a government cover-up specialist dates back to Ruby Ridge, includes Waco, the Oklahoma City bombing, Fast and Furious, good riddance to a corrupt, bloodthirsty tyrant. This is great news. Did Fast and Furious kindly catch up on him? While no fan of Alex, this is funny. Kind of sad, but funny. It's basically people taking a victory lap. It's people taking a victory lap. And there's a bunch of people over there. Hey, you should be in prison, says one guy. <laughs> you know, most of the, a lot of the corrupt public officials should be in prison, but they're not. It's top of the hour time when we come back. Heather Wagon Halls will be with us. Short segment. I apologize. We're back after this. this fabulous Friday. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Lorene Giordano. From Inspired to Health wants to bring awareness to women and men about the Robin Danielson Act of 2013. There is a petition before Congress to get femcare companies to disclose what they are using to create tampons, pads, synthetic fibers, unknown perfumes, dioxin, which is linked to cancer, there's no transparency when there should be considering these products are regularly used near a ladies' baby-making slash female hormone-making center. Women, especially young women, are not fully aware of the risks of tampon use or symptoms of toxic shock syndrome. This bill will help shine a light on how these important products are produced. Congresswoman Carolyn Mahoney has been trying for 20 years to get something passed, but the bill usually gets stalled or rejected. The Robin Danielson Act needs your help. Please call your congressman, congresswoman, and take a minute to sign the petition and share with your friends. Here's the petition to change.org. Check it out today. It's change.org, the Robin Danielson Act. Search for it over there. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great, great act. It's got a lot of different things. It's helping the women out there. Inspired to Health website is www.inspiredtohealth.net. Check out Facebook.com slash Inspired to Health. And also they're on Twitter, Inspire the number two health. Remember, change.org. That's C-H-A-N-G-E dot O-R-G. And search the Robin Danielson Act. And tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia World. We all love a great deal, especially when we get quality items at a great price. I want to tell you about an eBay store that has some of the best deals I've ever seen, and you got to check it out. MyFloridaShop.com MyFloridaShop.com offers great deals on clothes for men and women, gift items, jewelry, and more. With brands like Chico's, Old Navy, Dockers, Land's Inn, Izon, only to name a few. You'll save 10% on the quality items at MyFloridaShop.com and always free shipping. MyFloridaShop.com just added plus size clothing. New items are added every month. Right now there's a big sale going on at MyFloridaShop.com to make room for new inventory. Visit right now MyFloridaShop.com Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Want something awesome for your kids, teenagers, and pets? How about a giant long bed pillow in the shape of a ninja that they can wrestle and play with? Check out the new Kickstarter camp crowdfunding campaign called the Ninja Pillow. This product is a must for promoting active play, imagination, and just cool fun. Everyone needs a ninja pillow in their house. Visit ninjapillow.com and we'll spell it for you in I N J A P I L L O W. Dot com or search kickstarter.com for ninja pillow and that's k i c k s t a r t e r.com order your ninja pillow today pledges start at just a dollar to support and awesome ninja pillow rewards are available it's kickstarter.com search ninja pillow or go to ninjapillow.com and tell them you heard about it here on transmedia worldwide 
Somewhere over the rainbow lies a pot of gold that's sure to make your next fundraising event a huge success. Rainbow Dust, the innovative and exciting project that is a must-have for any fundraiser, is the hottest interactive candy product on the market today. Visit www.myrainbowdust.com to see how Rainbow Dust can add magic to your next function. Find out why kids will be standing in line for their turn at making their own delicious Rainbow Dust candy creation. Use the promo code RADIO2 to receive free ground shipping myrainbowdust.com let the magic begin attention everyone is your computer getting slow are errors popping up all over the screen you need quick speed pc get your free scan today at quickspeedpc.com and speed your computer up like new that's quickspeedpc.com for your free scan today go to quickspeedpc dot com today quickspeedpc.com welcome to the world famous jiggy jaguar radio program raw and uncut jiggy jag you know how you do it you know what i'm saying keeping it all the way live broadcasting live from hutchinson kansas well i'm sitting here with a linguist i have a linguist. no idea <laughs> I, I didn't that. know you were, but I didn't know that you were a wordsmith. <laughs> Call Jiggy right now. 267 22 Jiggy. Daddy Mike. Hey, Jiggy, what's happening, man? It reminds me of that uh, David Bowie song. Jiggy play guitar. Jeff. It's a great name, man. Thanks so much for having me on the show. Presenting. I'm, I'm Mike Massey, and uh, you know you can catch me on Jiggy Jag TV and uh, see a few of my tricks up there. Thanks very much. Jiggy Jaguar. I never knew what freedom was until I saw you lose yours. Well, well, well. It is the world famous Cheeky Jaguar radio program, hour number three. And of course, each and every Thursday on this broadcast, we always try to have, during our final hour, a big guest. And uh, I'll tell you, we've got a very, very good one today. She's been with us many times in the past. Uh, She is fabulous, fabulous. She's got more knowledge about the uh, financial world than pretty much all these other jackasses that are out there writing books. She knows what she's doing. Heather Wagonhalls is going to be with us here in a few moments. Unlock Your Wealth Radio. And uh, she'll be joining us here in just a few moments. But let's talk about one of our great marketing partners right now. Latrice Collins. She's got a fantastic career-focused book. It's available on Amazon.com. There are three books in the series, and all of them are available on Amazon. They're the following great titles, and you check them out. We've got links on our website at JiggyJaguar.com. The Perfect Fit for Careers. Also check out The Perfect Fit for Careers for Christians. And check out Career Planning and Personal Advancement Workbook. All books by Latrice Collins and all books available on Amazon.com. And if you want to get a hold of us today on the old Facebook, you can do so at Facebook.com slash The Jiggy Jaguar. I don't know why it's the... Well, I do do know why it's the. It's because the old one, Facebook.com slash Jiggy Jaguar, was on our old Facebook account that ended up getting taken down uh, because of our situation that we got into with my lovely ex-wife who did our Facebook divorce a couple years ago. So <laughs> we now have a new Facebook account. After, But it, it's it's been new for like four years now, so it's not like it's a major deal. It's just the fact I wanted to explain, because every once in a while people go, why is it Facebook.com slash the Jiggy Jaguar? That's why, idiot. Uh, let's go to Heather Wagonall. She's on the telephone. Heather, how are you today? I'm unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> A Facebook divorce. Thank God it wasn't around divorce. when I was getting divorced. Holy smokes. What we did, what we this is the strangest thing. She she gets a hold of me. Well, this whole marriage was a strange deal, but um we 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 got separated for a little bit. She left town with, with her kids, which by the way, that's another fun story. She had two kids going into the marriage from previous uh I guess, uh, administrations, baby baby daddies, whatever you want to refer to. And then she spent the next three or four years running around town going, oh, Jiggy doesn't pay his child support. Of course he doesn't. They're not his kids. But uh, (laughs) she, (laughs) she, um, she came back, and we went out on a date, and then she bought me shoes. I don't know why that happened. 
But uh, and then we we had I this day. The man's heart was through his stomach. I uh, guess geez. I don't know. She bought shoes for me. I don't know why. And then um, a couple of days later, so she gets fall for her again. Well, I kind of did, but uh, <laughs> then then she gets back with me. And then, like, I don't know, two or three days later, she gets a hold of me on Facebook and MySpace and all these places. And she goes, oh, we're getting a divorce. Uh, I'm done with you. We're getting a divorce. And I'm like, and she's like, I'm blocking you on all my social network things. We're getting a divorce. And I'm like, well, that doesn't quite mean it's legal in the state of Kansas. So we were married for another three years. And um, I went ahead, and every year on our anniversary, I sent her an e-card uh, wishing her happy anniversary. And then finally, when she got remarried, uh, she went ahead and had that guy pay for her divorce to me. So, but nice. that's that's the Facebook divorce. <laughs> that's nice. a, It's a strange deal. But um, Heather has got unlockyourwealthradio.com, and uh, she's with us today to talk about a myriad of topics. This first one I want to get into is Verizon. I don't like Verizon whatsoever. These uh, when I went to go get a phone, that's another thing that with, with this whole thing with my wife. Uh, she ran up all these phone bills at one time and ruined all my credit with all these phone companies. So uh, I, I eventually managed to get it fixed, and I went to go get me a phone. And I hadn't had a cell phone in a while, and everybody's like, "We well, ought to go to Verizon. Go to Verizon." So I go into Verizon. Now there's nobody in this store that we go into at the time. But they still made me take a number. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. Uh, th- th- this this is over at this point. It's put the keys on the counter and walk away slowly time. So <laughs> I went ahead and I took a number and I waited. Finally they came over. I told them, I said, I want a data plan and a mint and, you know, phone. And they're like, well, you have to have uh, two separate uh, plans. You have to have a, a data plan and you have to have minutes. And I'm like, What? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm not paying two bills for one thing. So I ended up going over to Sprint. But Verizon is a strange company. Um, what is this deal with this this fraud scheme that they have out here? It, it, it pretty much is emptying people's wallets nationwide. What, 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 is, what is this scam going on here, Heather? You know, it's a funny too, because okay. I, like you, have not had a very good experience with Verizon. My first experience was yes. when they bought out AirTouch. Yep, you know, so I yep, was an AirTouch I remember that. And then got lumped in and didn't like them, and Sprint was on the verge of getting the, vi- the they were going to be the first ones to be able to send video yes. over the phone. Yes. And so that's why I kind of went with them. But, you know, I travel internationally now, so I'm on AT&T. Yeah. Which is ironic that they attempted to scam me. <laughs> who, uh, I'm, by the way, a certified identity theft risk management specialist. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes, yes. And, and it just that is and fantastic. It came like a week after uh, I, I got a, a Barclay card scam. Which is a one too. So we'll have to talk about that one. Oh my god. So, I'm just sitting, working. I've got my ops girl. We're trying to plow through things because, you know, we typically telecommute. She lives in another state. Her husband got transferred, la, la. And I answer the phone, and, and it's like, thank you for being a loyal Verizon customer. To receive your Verizon reward, please visit Verizon28.com, and you will receive a $50 gift certificate. It instructed me <laughs> to enter my name, my account number, and my password in order to redeem it, which I found very entertaining because I am not presently a Verizon <laughs> customer. That's so, awesome. <laughs> I go to Verizon28.com just for, you know, shits and giggles. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I just don't understand right. this. They 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 get a hold of you, and they right. say, "Hey, we need you to come over and claim this this perk that doesn't exist because you're not a customer of this company." Yes, yes. <laughs> so I look, and it says Verizon28.com. But if you click on any of the other stuff, it took you to. It was like a spoof, and it took you directly to. Yeah. 
to be like, okay, this is just a separate website for the special offer kind of thing. Of course. So every <laughs> age that we live in, I think, okay, so so like I'm I'm sniffing this out. So I decide to call back the phone number on the caller ID. <laughs> and I get a medical center in Nebraska. Nebraska, of all places. Yes. <laughs> and so it says, for blah, 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 press 1. For medical records, press 2. For the Verizon 28 offer, press 3. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so I press 3. And then it takes me to a pre recorded message saying, this is not the phone number for the Verizon 28 offer. If you are a customer of Verizon, you need to contact Verizon directly. We do not have any affiliation. Wow. If you're not sure how they got our phone number. <laughs> oh, Heather, it just gets so interesting here. <laughs> yes. So then I call Verizon proper. And I said, yes. They're like, I have your account number. And I'm like, no, you may not. <laughs> no, you like, may not. <laughs> Why not? And I'm like, because I don't have one. <laughs> but interestingly enough, you were offering me 50 bucks. Yes. I want to know how to get it. And they're like, what? And so I escalate up the food chain. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. Of course they uh, don't. So we, we break the news. We try to get comment from the, the medical facility. And we just get redirected, redirected. Nobody wants to talk to us about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Nobody knew anything at Verizon. So I'm relaying the story. So we put out our breaking because we have our fraud alert channel on the unlockyourwealthradio.com. Yeah. So we put it out on the fraud alert. And when I'm in the studio the next day and I'm chatting up my, my producer and, and I say to him, I said, gosh, I said, two weeks in a row I got popped for a fraud scheme. And I was telling him about it, and he goes, I already, I got an email on that. And he goes, I've already been there. He goes, I thought I, w- I, thought I told you about it. And so he actually got an email directing him to go to the website and get his 50 bucks. But he, and, and he is a Verizon customer, which was very, very curious. But he smelled rat, too, because, like, this doesn't seem right. So he skipped it totally. And when he called it, they didn't know. And that was almost a year ago. So this, these folks... Take your account number, and they can redirect billing. And, of course, you can always add stuff. You know, you can buy phones, and it just whacks you on the next statement. You can up contracts. And then, you know, uh, with the different types of phones that you have, whether it's Android or iPhone, instead of putting a credit card in your phone to bill for apps and stuff like that, you can use your actual phone bill. So this is costing people some serious money. When they get their their bills snagged like that, their account numbers uh, uh, compromised. Wow. <laughs> this is a hell of a deal. We've got Heather Wagonhalls with us today from Unlock Your Wealth Radio. She is uh, covering today this uh, Verizon fraud scheme. Uh what what is what is the best way to try to avoid some of these scams? Because I, I I see this all the time in the news. Old women got scammed out of their Social Security because for whatever reason they gave their number to some jerk over the phone, or some idiot gets over on people online, or I or I've seen the deal with the uh, I get these uh, emails every once in a while from Gmail, supposedly from Gmail, or they want me to enter the uh, the, the my password and my and my login and everything. I'm like, well, first of all. Um, if you're sending me an email and it's Gmail, you already have that. <laughs> so, how, how how do people, what's the best way to try to avoid some of these scams there, Heather? Okay, well, there's some very simple steps that each and every one of us can take. So, the first thing we need to understand is that what I do on my radio show is brain-based financial literacy. And so, what we, we have to know is they are playing simple mind tricks when they catch us off guard you know, especially in the afternoon, okay, so you've had, you've slogged through your day, your brain, your conscious brain can only handle so much before it starts to spill over, right? 
And just like with dieting, you know, you're really strong in the morning when you get up and you eat the right breakfast. And at lunch, you're okay, but by the time dinner rolls around and you've had a flat tire and you forgot to pick up the dry cleaning and your kid was late to practice and all of this stuff, we just get overwhelmed and our resolve and our discipline goes away because discipline is a conscious behavior, is a conscious activity, but behavior is subconscious. And so what happens is when we get frustrated, uh, flustered or frustrated, we're easily led. We want to believe people are doing the right thing. We want to trust people. And who doesn't want a good deal? Everybody, you know, it doesn't matter how much money you have. I would still like to win the lottery, personally, <laughs> you know. I wouldn't mind an extra windfall to help me out with what I've already earned, right? So we're all kind of in this gullible phase. And so we have to first say, okay, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Yeah, And yep. money doesn't always fall from the sky. There's always some sort of exchange. And there's this, this law of reciprocity. Okay? <laughs> yes, so, yes. So, so people give you free offers. Like you can visit a website and they want you to buy something, but if you don't, that's okay because we're going to give you this free report instead. And so <laughs> you sign up and you get that free report now because you've received something. The idea is to give back. So... What we usually wind up doing once we get something free is we wind up buying something. So that same thing happens. So somebody does something for us, we want to do something for them. So they're going to offer us a rebate and in exchange for our account number. So we're like, okay, I'm going to get 50 bucks. All I have to do is type in my account number. Sounds like a great deal, right? How long does it take to type in an account number? Yay. Five seconds, <laughs> 10 the most. So we have to be aware of this law of reciprocity and know that that's how we get hooked into these things. We have to be aware that some things may be too good to be true. And most companies, if they are legitimate companies seeking you out for a specific purpose, they are not going to call you and solicit you for your account information because they wouldn't be able to contact you in the first place if they <laughs> didn't have it. Yes. <laughs> that, that, that's, the, that's the whole thing. I just... I, I find this so strange. We've got Heather Wagonhalls with us today. We're talking about in this first segment this Verizon fraud scheme, uh, something called Verizon28.com, which uh, apparently Verizon didn't know anything about until Heather called them on the phone and told them. Uh, <laughs> why is there so much money and wealth in such a poor economic climate here? You know, it's because, you know, when one gives, another receives. And so some people may be impoverished, but ideally money is still flowing. And it's all about perception, if you think about it. So when you are looking for good things to happen, good things come to you. But if you're looking for searching out negative things, you're going to notice them more often, and I'll just give you an example it, it, when we talk about brain overload, okay? Yep, and, yep. And it's a simple thing that what you filter for, you find. So let's say you wake up in the morning, and you're like, oh my gosh, I feel so fresh and rested and relaxed, and I beat the alarm up only to roll over and realize you're 45 minutes late because you forgot to set it. So you're like, holy smokes, right? So you hop in the shower, you woof down your breakfast on your way to work, and you pick up a nail and you get a flat tire. So now... Not only did you not have a time, now you had a flat tire, right? So you go in, and you're, you're watching some kind of commotion going on in the corner of the office. You get in, you yep, up on your yep. computer, start your email, and all of a sudden, you realize that you, because you weren't in on time, this account that you've been working on to try to get closed so you can get a big, fat commission, uh, yeah, that commotion going on in the corner was one of your colleagues celebrating closing that in the first phone call that they received because your extension was busy because you weren't there. <laughs> and so now, okay, you're pretty upset. Now, it could be just coincidence that you didn't get up, you had a flat tire, and you lost your first account. But most people, with the way the brain works, because the brain is basically lazy, it doesn't want to think. Now you're filtering for that negativity. And so when one of your regular customers calls in and wants to add to their order, you're grumped out. You don't provide quality customer service. So either they find another colleague in your office who does want to serve them, or they go away. Now you're alienating the business that you have. 
So you're losing the business you've been prospecting for, and now you're alienating the business that you can have. And now you're sitting there, and then the phone rings, and it's the principal for your kid at school, and they just got yep. in trouble for fighting. Yep. And so all you start doing is thinking about this black cloud about your head. And now from this point forward, unless you actively shrug it off, d- direct yourself in another uh, direction where you can take and focus on something better or different and just break that negative state, you're going to unlucky yeah. mantra. And before you know it, you create a bigger set of poverty than you may have already had. Wow. <laughs> okay. Heather Wagonhall is with us today here on the program. She joins us coast to coast to border to border. We're going to take a uh, quick time out here. When we come back, we're going to talk about guarding against internet thieves. Uh, kind of, kind of staying in the in in this uh, fraud area. Uh, Heather is the author of Yes You Can and Bushido Business, and we will talk to Heather, my good close personal longtime friend Heather Wagonhalls, when we come back here on the world famous Cheeky Jaguar Radio Program. Back here in a few moments. For this fabulous Friday, let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide, Loreen Giordano. From Inspired to Health, wants to bring awareness to women and men about the Robin Danielson Act of 2014. There is a petition before Congress to get femcare companies to disclose what they are using to create tampons, pads, synthetic fibers, unknown perfumes, dioxin, which is linked to cancer. There's no transparency when there should be considering these products are regularly used near a ladies' baby-making slash female hormone-making center. Women, especially young women, are not fully aware of the risks of tampon use or symptoms of toxic shock syndrome. This bill will help shine a light on how these important products are produced. Congresswoman Carolyn Mahoney has been trying for 20 years to get something passed, but the bill usually gets stalled or rejected. The Robin Danielson Act needs your help. Please call your congressman, congresswoman, and take a minute to sign the petition and share with your friends. Here's the petition to change.org. Check it out today. It's change.org, the Robin Danielson Act. Search for it over there. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great, great act. It's got a lot of different things. It's helping the women out there. Inspired to Health's website is www.inspiredtohealth.net. Check out Facebook.com slash Inspired to Health, and also they're on Twitter, Inspire the number two, Health. Remember, change.org, that's C-H-A-N-G-E dot O-R-G, and search the Robin Danielson Act, and tell them you heard about it here on Transmedia World. Let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at Transmedia Worldwide. Want something awesome for your kids, teenagers, and pets? How about a giant long bed pillow in the shape of a ninja that they can wrestle and play with? Check out the new Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign called the Ninja Pillow. This product is a must for promoting active play, imagination, and just cool fun. Everyone needs a Ninja Pillow in their house. Visit NinjaPillow.com and we'll spell it for you. N-I-N-J-A-P-I-L-L-O-W. Dot com or search kickstarter.com for ninja pillow and that's k i c k s t a r t e r dot com order your ninja pillow today pledges start at just a dollar to support and awesome ninja pillow rewards are available it's kickstarter.com search ninja pillow or go to ninjapillow.com and tell them you heard about it here on transmedia worldwide 
Somewhere over the rainbow lies a pot of gold that's sure to make your next fundraising event a huge success. Rainbow Dust, the innovative and exciting project that is a must-have for any fundraiser, is the hottest interactive candy product on the market today. Visit www.myrainbowdust.com to see how Rainbow Dust can add magic to your next function. Find out why kids will be standing in line for their turn at making their own delicious Rainbow Dust candy creation. Use the promo code RADIO2 to receive free ground shipping myrainbowdust.com let the magic begin let's talk about one of our great marketing partners at transmedia worldwide it's a fantastic indiegogo campaign check out i n d i e g o g o dot com search portable solar charger auto tracking mount amazing kickstarter project a lean green tracking machine it's also a portable solar charger They've got some great rewards over there. You can help these guys for as little as a dollar. Come on, everybody's got a dollar. Alexandria, Ohio is where this is based. Dave Weaver is back with us. He's a retired Coast Guard warrant engineer, and he likes to make things, mostly yard toys for granddaughters. He makes air cannons, roller coasters, water balloon lodgers, and anything that will help keep them coming back on the weekends. You love those girls. And uh, Water Balloon Launcher, uh, it's, it's an amazing invention. However, um, it, is, it is fantastic that uh, he's wanting to help out the environment here. He's always had a fascination with solar power, both active and passive, so much that he's converted his barn into a giant passive solar absorber that is amazing. We've seen it. It's amazing. Good stuff. He's constructed a uh, polycarbonite wall with aluminum extended frame six inches in front of the garage door, but flush with the exterior. When the temperature in the uh, void exceeds 90 degrees, the garage door opens, exposing a wall of black corrugated steel. The heat is more than sufficient to heat the workplace. Propane heater takes the chill off the very cold days. It's a uh, great marketing campaign, and uh, we thank you for supporting that. Check out Indiegogo.com and search for the Polar Solar Charger. And thanks for listening to us here on Transmedia Worldwide. We all love a great deal, especially when we get quality items at a great price. I want to tell you about an eBay store that has some of the best deals I've ever seen, and you got to check it out. MyFloridaShop.com MyFloridaShop.com offers great deals on clothes for men and women, gift items, jewelry, and more. With brands like Chico's, Old Navy, Dockers, Lands Inn, Izon, only to name a few. You'll save 10% on the quality items at MyFloridaShop.com and always free shipping. MyFloridaShop.com just added plus size clothing. New items are added every month. Right now there's a big sale going on at MyFloridaShop.com to make room for new inventory. Visit right now MyFloridaShop.com 24-7-365 The Jiggy Jaguar Radio Program continues. Back here on the program, Heather Wagonhalls joins us. She is fantastic, and we wanted to get her on today to talk about some of the different issues going on in the world around us with uh, credit cards and identity theft and all sorts of different things. Before we get into this next topic, which is uh, guarding against Internet thieves, I, I, I am still so tickled by the fact that you're a fraud specialist and they tried to defraud you. That is just absolutely amazing that that happened. It's, 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 the irony was killing me. I was just like, seriously? This is so great. It, it was hysterical what happened, you know? And, um, and if I could just borrow your credit card, I would love to get my own ninja pillow. <laughs> That's Sound right. Like wave I love I love those things. <laughs> I, I, need, I need a ninja pillow. I need a ninja pillow as my sponsor. Holy smokes! <laughs> now, now, Maybe Heather, crushing it on my show. Hey, uh, I'll, I'll hook you up with them, and we'll see what we can <laughs> we can get going. Um, tell me about this 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 stat here. Fifty percent of people who engage in activities were victims of card fraud, compared with thirty eight percent of people who did not, but still experienced card fraud. We're talking about this. Uh, this topic here, forty one percent of Americans have faced credit, debit, and prepaid card fraud. Uh this is amazing that uh in this cashless society that we're slowly being brought into, that this is happening. Um 
tell me a little bit about how we can guard against some of these internet thieves. What are some of the ramifications, basically, of stolen identity? Well, it could be fatal. Stolen identity can be fatal, and there have been two now reported cases in which that has happened. It's much more than just a whole bunch of credit card debt that you've got to slog through, okay? Because when your identity is stolen, this is, this is you, okay? So imagine if you have a special illness or allergy to a particular medication, okay? Now, I happen to be allergic to sulfas. Now, what if somebody assumed your identity? So they got your social security card. A lot of... of Identity theft floats around medical health care fraud, okay? So okay. folks that don't have insurance, and this whole Obamacare thing has really kind of mucked this up and made it worse for the individual and even easier for folks to create medical identity theft. So let's say you have assumed someone's identity, and then you get hospitalized or treated for an emergency. Someone had assumed this other person's identity so much so that they created this huge body of work in their medical bureau profile, which is like your credit profile, but has to do with health care. It talks about claims, all kind of insurance stuff. This person went in for an emergency and was treated for an allergy they did not have, and they were consequently killed, went into anaphylactic shock, boom. Wow. Yes, because this other person's health information was in their identity profile. Holy crap. So larger than just a bunch of money. Yeah, so this this, this isn't just a serious. situation of, hey, I, I lost my credit card and some idiot went out and bought a boat with it. Right. Wow. And you know, and there was that really funny movie. Where the lady assumed the guy's credit. I mean, it, it, it was it, it was a, a priceless movie. But you know what people fail to realize, and, and well, let's let's address this internet thief thing first. Yeah, most of it has to do with careful online habits that will protect us from internet fraud. But most fraud occurs from someone you know. Oh, it's somebody you know. Okay. And it's a friend or a relative, and what happens to you, the individual that becomes the victim of this type of fraud, is that unless you file charges against these people, you're going to be responsible for this debt. This happened to my brother. Wow. This happened to my brother. And my mom <laughs> likes to uh, do the poor man's will, so instead of you know drawing up a will to divvy up assets of what none she has... She likes to put my brother and I's social security number on checking accounts that she had. We could not open up a checking account for five years. Wow. And my brother and I both collectively paid the debt off. My mother had bounced a, a slew of checks. And then it got so bad with all of the charges, she, she never paid it. My brother and I split the difference because we're like, we need to get this off of check systems. Yeah. And even though we paid the debt and, and we got it right with the bank, we got the paperwork check systems refuse to remove us from their system. <laughs> you know. Wow. And it's a little bit tough to function when you have to keep going and getting money orders to pay all of your bills. It's, Yay. It's ridiculous. You know, and this was the time before the internet was was around. So you had to write checks if you wanted to pay bills. Wow. And so it really restricts or prohibits your ability to function when you can't even open up a checking account. And, you know, when we called the bank, you know, my brother went to go buy a house. She wound up using his his credit for a, a Pep Boys credit card. He was applying for a home, and he <laughs> had defaulted on a Pep Boys credit card for $3,000. And he's like, Wow. What? Yeah. I mean, she's a, she's a female. <laughs> she's a female, but she used my brother's credit she's used mine too you know um i went to you know apply for an investment you know uh, an investment mortgage because i i like investment property i like income producing real estate and i had an underwriting exception i got approved but you have to do some other stuff before we will close and fund this loan and one of the things was was to pay off 
uh, it, it, and it was a department store card, and I can't remember which one it was, but it was just like, really, can you spend, I think it was like, how do you spend $4,000 at Mervyn's? <laughs> at wow. Mervyn's. Yeah. That's like going and dropping ten grand at Costco. <laughs> yeah. How does that happen? I know. And, 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 and it, she used her own address. She didn't even use my address for it. That's why I never got the bill. So I have these conflicting addresses. Like People are like, you know, is this... Well, she probably had like, something no. delivered. She wanted to make sure she actually got it. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Wow. And, and unless you f- file charges, you get stuck for the bill. And, and, and so relatives know this. I had a young man, him and his, uh, his fiance, they, they just got engaged, and they wanted to apply for a, the FHA home loan where you can use a gift down payment as your wedding present. You can set up a bridal registry at a checking account and do the whole deal. So we go in, and the kid, who was barely 20 years old, had 15 years' worth of credit history all bad. Holy because crap. Papa, deadbeat dad, went out and used his credit. Holy crap. Yes. <laughs> it, it was terrible. We had to go to the Social Security Administration because we couldn't find the dad to press charges. And all yes. That. We had to go to the Social Security Administration, explain and plead the case, and then they were gracious enough to be able to give him a new one because he hadn't paid into the system yet, You know, so there wasn't any monies owed from from working or anything like that. So they yeah. were able to make an exception in this case and reissue him another Social Security number. But, it, you know, that's the bigger fraud that you got to worry about is the relative fraud because unless you file charges for them, you know, and, and who wants to send their mom to jail? Mm, yeah. You know, or your that's... uncle or whoever, you know. So people prey on you that way. So, so you always have to keep your cards in a safe location, not just in your handbag, on the counter, you can't let people walk away with their credit cards. You know, when you go to a pay at a restaurant, follow the waitress up and be there. You know, because one of the greatest ways for people to get your card is through merchant fraud. You know, so you go to a restaurant and, you know, you give your credit card to the waitress, you know, and, and your meal's 100 bucks, And then when the statement comes, like, you've got like $15,000 worth of charges. You're like, what the heck? And it's because <laughs> somebody said, you know what, you're a poor, starving college student. How about if you take every credit card you get, you swipe it through my little portable machine that you can keep in your pocket, and I'll pay you 20 bucks for every name you give me. And so now they swipe your card for the bill at the restaurant, and then they swipe it through this machine. Wow. Yep. Holy shnikes. Yep. <laughs> this, so it makes internet wow. fraud pale in comparison. But simple things to avoid internet fraud is just to make sure that you're always on a secure encrypted website. That you look up in the corner and you see the little lock symbol in your browser or you see the yeah. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash before the domain starts. And make sure that you actively access the website. You don't click through through suspicious emails or anything like that. If your bank wants something to do with you, um, they're not going to send you a bunch of links. <laughs> They're going to call you on the horn. Or log into your account. But they're not going to give you the link to go do that. They're going to tell you to go do that. And you need to actively visit that outside of any email or phone call. You need to be very, wow. very you know, suspicious. And it's unfortunate that we've gotten into that day and age, you know, that, that we're less trusting than more trusting. <laughs> Hell of a deal. <laughs> we're going to do this. We're going to take a... Uh, <laughs> I tell you, we need. I, I I feel like I need to go curl up with my ninja pillow. But we're gonna take a timeout. When we come back, we're gonna talk about. Um, some, j- I'm gonna throw some some odd things out at Heather. It's not a particular topic. It's just kind of in her in her wheelhouse of uh, of money and finances and things. And we're 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 gonna uh, check in with Heather Wagonhalls when we come back. One final segment here on the world famous Cheeky Jake while you show back here in a few moments.
Available for the first time, a special instructional series that will teach you to play mouth guitar. You never learned to play a musical instrument, but that's okay. In no time, you'll be playing mouth guitar. Learn these classics of the mouth guitar. Smoke on the water. Satisfaction. And Inagata De Vida, the long version. Add a little reverb. Buzz tone. Wah wah. Play country mouth guitar. Order now and get this special bonus the quintessential desk drummer. Mouth guitar and desk drumming. No batteries, amplifiers, chords, or talent required. You could rob a liquor store or steal a car or even do a job for the guys who wear fancy suits and pay no taxes. But that would be illegal. Introducing a new better way to get money fast. It's Johnny Cash. The new concept in fast money. It's not an ATM. It's not a loan shark. It's just a man in black with a fistful of green. Hi, Mr. Cash. Can I borrow ten bucks? Oh, uh, anything to keep a loyal fan on the right side of the law? Here you go. Gee, thanks, Mr. Cash. Don't mention it. Visit your convenient... Johnny Cash. ...location and beg your next cash advance. It'll keep you out of Folsom Prison. Johnny Cash. Get fast money now where you see the burning ring of fire. When you wanted the best long distance rates, you dialed 10123 in the number. Then it changed to 101123. Now you can still get the lowest long distance rates. Just dial 1110-1210-830-5264123 and pay a low 6 cents a minute as easy as 123. Dial 1110-1210-830-5264123 between 8:30 and 10:52, 4 days a week for your savings prize. You'll feel like you've won one two on 1110-1210-830-5264123. 10 to 1 your 6 cents says 6 cents for 2 minutes will have you at 6s and 7s when you call one number 1110-1210. 10 8 30 52 6 4 1 2 3 2. Got it? Long distance dialing has never been easier. To sign up for 1 1 10 12 10 8 30 52 6 4 1 2 3, call for your 8 digit PIN number and activation code. Many faces. It knows no limits. It knows no bounds. We have seen terror as great white sharks, man eating apes, 40 foot snakes, aliens, rats. Ants, lizards, dogs, bees, birds, wind, fog, cars, dinosaurs, talking dolls, match, guys with hockey masks, guys with chainsaws, even tomatoes. But nothing, nothing can prepare you for the ultimate in evil. It knows where you live. What's happening? It knows where you sleep. Get out of the house! It knows where you hide. I'm going downstairs without a flashlight. It knows no fear. <laughs> it's dark out there. And it's not in a good mood. Get ready to be scared all over again. Because evil has a new name. Squirrel. Ah, it's a squirrel! It's a squirrel! Squirrel. Starts Friday at the Groper Drive-In. This is the Jiggy Jaguar Radio Show. Okay, we had a little bit of fun with that last commercial break, partially because uh, I didn't have commercials loaded up before that break, and we had to take a break. <laughs> so I had to. That doesn't matter. I had to get the videos sliced up and put on YouTube. It's all that backstage stuff that you don't really. You're not supposed to know about those things, but uh, Heather Wagonhall's with us today here on the program. And um, Heather, I know we were when we were talking about uh, thieves and internet scammers and all that in the last segment. One thing that I wanted to get your thoughts on is, uh, and this I just don't understand why people do this. Why do people put their credit card information and everything on their freaking smartphones? That just seems to me like. That's a setup for disaster. Uh, you know, it's a, I, I, it's a one-word answer, Jigmeister. <laughs> Are you sitting down? It's yes. four letters. Are you ready? Okay. Lazy! <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> 
looking for convenience, you know. I mean, I just have never understood that. I I remember way back in the day, and still to this still to this day, my mother's this way. But uh, she refuses to. She she spent a lot of years not buying anything online. She's like, I'm not doing it. Just not gonna happen. And then finally, she got a PayPal account. And she tied that PayPal to a prepaid credit card. So if somebody were to scam it, if there's no money there, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But I see these idiots these days. Like, uh, I, I bought, I, I had to buy a new phone fairly recently. And uh, it, it asked me for all sorts of information about the credit card and this and that. And I'm like, I'm not giving you that. <laughs> it's like we should be. Able there's to people do that do though. With, with other, as a consumer, we should be able to do business without having to provide that information. And retailers want to make the transaction seamless. They want to make repeat customers a seamless process. So that's why they want to capture that data. And we, as basically lazy people, don't want to walk <laughs> over to our wallet, and pull it out, and type it in again. <laughs> Oh, you're going to make my life easier. Okay. Remember, <laughs> the brain is basically lazy, and we create these patterns in our behavior to simplify the process so we don't have to think. And if you can make it so I don't have to think, I'm going to love you forever. Yep. And I'm going to do it yep. today. Yep. <laughs> well, so- something else I want to get your thoughts on, Heather. By the way, Heather Wagonhall is joining us today. Unlock Your Wealth Radio. She is a best-selling author. She's got several books out there as well. Um, Heather, I've wondered, and and we we talked about the the, the phishing websites earlier, and some of these some of these different uh, you know the 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 scams. Every once in a while, you hear about on television where you know people are scamming the elderly out of Social Security, and and we're doing the 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 internet fraud, this and that. I've I see so many people nowadays who are using this. Uh, what the hell is it? The 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 little uh, the little register that you put on your your smartphone and you can take credit card payments. Oh, like the Square register. Yes, the, like the these Square one. things and these. Is is there a situation where at some point those could be compromised or screwed with, and not the customer? Nor the guy who is using the you know the Square account. You take those two out of the equation. Is, is has there? I haven't ever heard anything in the news, and if I have, it hasn't been major. But could those be set up to you know just really screw with people? And the the two parties, the the buyer and the seller, really don't have a clue what's going on. The only way that that could actually happen is if you say you and I were at the county fair, and you had your booth, and I had my booth, and the guy next to us had his booth, and let's say you left your little, your your card reader at home, and you say, hey, Heather, can I borrow your card reader? And I'm like, oh, I don't have that brand, but the guy next to us says, yeah, I do. So if he's altered his to capture data in addition to the transaction, perhaps. But it would be okay. really unlikely for that to happen. It would have to be fraud on the merchant's part because those card readers take that information into the application itself, and you'd have to be pretty sophisticated to <laughs> hack the application to get that. Okay. It, it, would, it would require too much effort because thieves are basically lazy. <laughs> yes. They're not real sophisticated. <laughs> yes. They just know a little <laughs> bit more than we do. Well, see, I've, I I see these all the time, and I see these, you know, the 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 the, the commercials where they talk about how well, you know, the uh, I think it's Square or whatever, where 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 the where the couple gets in the ice cream van and they drive all over the freaking place and they're selling ice cream and oh my God, it's the greatest thing in the world and they've got this Square and they've they they become this huge deal, um, and I've always thought, you know. <laughs> that just doesn't like look that. real safe to me, but I've never heard of anybody having any problems with this. So I thought maybe one thing had been made to where the chuckleheads haven't been able to figure out how to hack it yet. I would agree with you on that, because one of the great things about the Square app is, is, is there's something else called Square Wallet for those lazy people. Instead of typing their credit card number 
just into their phone, where if they lose their phone, it could be stolen, they can have a square wallet. And so if you have a square wallet, and I'm a square merchant, and you come up to me, I don't even need to swipe my credit card. I don't even know, need to know what method you're paying with. On my app, it'll show other square wallets, and I look at the picture on the app that it shows me, and then I look at your face, and I'm like, oh, Jiggy wants to pay, and I just push that button as my payor or my payee, and yeah. then I'm able to process the payment without having a card reader. It, and, you know, if I was a regular retail merchant or a bank, I would probably be running scared because their fees are super compatible and it is not prohibited. I remember when I applied for my merchant account for my website, I could only sell my online education program. I was not allowed to use it for consulting fees. So oh, if really? you wanted to have three hours of coaching, I, could, I cannot sell it to you with my merchant account on my website. But if you call me up on the phone... I can process it through Square. They don't care what I'm selling. <laughs> That's awesome. And, so, and, and their fees are competitive with merchant accounts. I think Square is a great way to go. Now, um, among some of these other deals, I, I know there's a lot of people that uh, they they use eBay versus Amazon just because of the, the, the PayPal situation where Amazon doesn't allow PayPal. And... and uh, eBay does so. There's a lot of people that that go either way. Um, is is there a difference between is 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 there a better a better way? Is is Amazon onto something? Or are they basically well, we're not accepting PayPal because of some reason? Or is is there something behind all this? Because I see that PayPal's universally accepted all over the place. Except I can't get on Amazon and do it. Right. You know, and now PayPal has their own PayPal credit card, too. So you can use it as a, as a, as a third-party payee system. Which is oh, kind of thing. okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've been seeing merchants now. There's a little espresso bar I like to go to now that accepts the PayPal credit card. So you've got Visa, MasterCard, American Express, PayPal. Oh, uh, so it matters, okay. Whatever it is. But, you know, PayPal has, and, and for me, uh, as a merchant, PayPal is not competitive yeah. The, the pricing isn't there, and probably for Amazon, as big as they are, they're like, you know what, we don't need to mess with that headache, because if you've ever tried to dispute something with a PayPal transaction, it takes quite a bit. Oh, the process yes. Is dense <laughs> to try to get a refund, you know, and PayPal went hand-in-hand hand with eBay. 